happened in the games and activities chat, because, like, Luke Pooh was like, Lady D has dummy thick regeneration abilities and the ability to extend her nails to, like, five feet long and sharp enough to slice cleanly through flesh. I don't know any of that. I don't know what Hollow's gonna say. All I know is that between those two, I'd probably go with Lady D, just because the other lady legitimately hurts my eyes to look at with her fucking design. I hate it. <laughs> uh, let me, let me pull up the picture again. Wait. Oh yeah, speaking of, that design's like her at 100%, so... Hi everybody so on screen, by the way! I've ever seen. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, hello everyone, Zach Murray, K. Blue Spartan, I'm here back in Mass Effect with my friends. We are finally starting Mass Effect 2. I wanted Chase to be around for this, just because... At the very least, I wanted to move around for the very first one of me doing it, so... <laughs> we got some time, we made it. We're here. It's awesome. I'm sorry, because to me, it's start. Yeah. Eric's clearly ahead. He really wants that uh, locust. I'm not ahead. I'm just starting the mission now. You're ahead in general. Me and Chase are a little bit tied, but okay. I mean, I don't know what you guys did after I left last time. So Nothing. I don't know. All right, so. Yeah, hardly um, anything. All I did was um, continue. Okay, apparently it says level 57. Oh, nice. Okay, question. I was actually level 29 with uh, Insanity when I finished the game. Uh, alright, question. What do you guys think do next? Uh, I can go get Jack, go get Brunt, uh, go ahead and go by the Citadel and pick up Sumi, or do they do the mission? I want to I mean, if you wanted to kill everyone in the refinery, especially I'm Santiago, you could go straight for... Well, yeah, you are playing Renegade Show. So you could technically go for Zaid. I forget, though. Like, I haven't officially decided what stance I want to take with Zaid's Lowe's mission just yet, only because I forget if there was, like, a split decision on weapon upgrade that you can get in the in the DLC. Like, if you could get two different weapon upgrades, but only one, depending on which choice you make in that. So I haven't decided yet. Um... I mean, I suppose you could get Zaid's loyalty out of the way, just so that way you have Inferno Grenade ready for him. Yeah, I normally wait forever to do Zaid's, but like, uh, this, this like, let's you guys, so, mostly Eric made me play an Edgelord, so I'm playing Renegade Chef, so I'm just, I figured I'm, I'm sorry, gonna, gonna hold play up, early. who picked your background? Don't play that you were the on one me. that said edgy, edginess. That was you. I said, well, okay, I, yeah, that's what I said, okay. but I'm not the one who made the character. I'm just right, stating guys. how the creator of the character, how they designed it. Alright, combat difficulty. Gotta make sure we are on that insanity bullshit. <laughs> but anyways, so, wait, okay, no, so back. Jesse says no, I should go get Grunt. Shit. Blue says I could go ahead and do his next mission. Eric, look. If it was to me, I would I go... I you say that because I forget you're playing Infiltrator, right? Yes. If, it, if it was for me, okay. if it was me, I would go to the Citadel and get everything you could possibly get in the Citadel. Like I did earlier. Is there anything worth logging on the Citadel at this point? All the upgrades that you can buy very easily with how many credits you have at this um, this point, you can reinstate your Spectre status, which will get you a little bit more leeway and stuff. And you get Kasumi. There isn't anything crazy, but you can get all the discounts and everything. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to have to make sure that as soon as I get the chance to turn subtitles yeah, back on, because I forgot to make sure that they were on, I clicked A. Thinking it would turn on subtitles, it didn't. It just also, served me straight to the service system. Also, Kasumi is fucking great on insanity with that cloak attack. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm. The thing is, I don't know how much I'm going to use her because I already kind of have an idea of my set team that being like Miranda and Garrus. But I'll probably try around a few other people. I already know there's a lot of people I'm never going to bring outside their loyalty mission. Yeah. I kind of have the same idea of what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bring whoever. Because it really doesn't matter. Did everything right. As long as I you mean, know what class you're I, I feel like it do. normally it matters a bit more in Zen than Uncovered lower difficulty. Because some squad mates. Still uh, especially like the first one I'm being like Jack and with Jacob. This dialogue? Because of how all the enemies have health and or armor. Their abilities are just borderline worthless. They're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. I still They'll don't know what they were down thinking down. with Jack's Even loadout. Literally, hey, make her a Vanguard, but, but don't give her the stuff that makes Vanguards good. Him. 
He's a they don't hero. even bother giving her a charge in the third game, which would have been awesome. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might be uh, uh, Iris, let's, uh, let's get your then weapon damage to it that we don't lose. <laughs> Miranda, you seem good. Still, it's fucking weird how they decided to change the dialogue that said at the beginning of Mass Effect 2. What the fuck was up with that? Huh? Because, yes. I didn't even pay attention to the dialogue that's different, to be fair. Still, I gotta make sure I turn on subtitles as soon as I can, because I, like to I said, be fair I to stay who? on accident. Stay. Eric, I never understand who you're trying to be here for. Wait, what? Not 80% of the time after anything you say that is in like slight disagreement with someone, it always ends with a to be fair. All of the time. I want to know, who is it you're trying to be fair with? Disengaging FTL drives. Did I say to be fair? Because I said I don't remember that. Yes! You, Board you said, is I, 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 don't, I, I didn't really notice it to be fair. We're wasting our time. I didn't Four notice it. Down Look, this you heard it, right? We haven't found any sign of Geth I think activity. I did. <laughs> Well, it's on stream, so it, it, it the past exists. Month. There's footage Something of it. Something happened to him. Okay. My money's on slavers. To be the fair, I guess. With them. Picking up something on the long that one was just the I always made sure that the game is on vessel. insanity before we started, hmm. so Looks like at cruiser. least that's good. Let's imagine any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could pop. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Hi, Sarah. Wow, the last player there on the collective gun just seemed a lot more dramatic. Yeah, I agree with you on that scene. Multiple hull breaches! What the fuck is that guy had to get that fire? I always wondered that. I didn't realize it was a secret. It was. Yes, yeah, there are two. There are three. There are a total of three seats in the front and two side seats in the original comic. In the front main bridge. At least Ashley's wearing a uh, armor that makes sense. She always wore the Phoenix armor in the first game. Shepherd! Maybe in between Mass Effect One or Two, they just found an excess amount of Phoenix armor. <laughs> I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttle. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. Get to the damn shuttle. I'll hold Joker's crippled ass out of here. Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Commander. I shared that in the meme channel recently. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Guy. I just told Ashley to get the hell go, out of here. Go, go. Yep, Lou's the only one who has Ashley. Yeah, because like I said, I was trying to decide that. Oh, oh, you know what? oh, that reminds me. I'm going to start a female infiltrator at some point on the Xbox. That reminds me, uh, I, I chose to say that our facilities were free and they have slept our abilities. No ability for three. I just assumed you guys would make me use slam again. Uh, no, I just decided to mix it up. Okay. Now I kind of feel insulted because you give me an ability that will be in Mass Effect 3, and you're having Jesse decide to mix it up. Okay, hold up. Well, hey, I gotta make sure that there, you might like your 1 3 wooden slam. I don't know if I will. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Um, sure, go ahead. Instead of slam, you get fortification. Okay, wow, that actually is a pretty good mix-up. I'm not even really going to use slam in this game anyways, because I was going to try to focus fully on my engineering abilities, so... I thought you get slam in 3, though, still. Yes, but just one get slam in 3. But Jesse oh, okay. wanted to mix it up. So, so I decided to give me fortification. Does that mean I'm not getting barriers to... Yeah, you're not going to be the, un the, you're not gonna be the unkillable sentinel in 3. Well, technically, oh, you'd yeah. still be an unkillable sentinel in three. Uh, Blue is fine with fortification. He likes that way more than slam. Uh, but, Eric, instead. I mean, if I had to nitpick, which I could, Trub is technically using it in three, but I'm not going to really nitpick about this, so. 
Uh, but with Eric, instead of Barrier, you're getting decoy. Come on, Joker! We have to get out of here. What am I getting? I'm sorry. No, I won't abandon instead of Barrier, you're getting decoy. I can still save her! Oh, okay. right, I'll be honest, I thought you guys would have stuck me with decoy. The Normandy's dead! And like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, instead of flashbang to... grenades, since it's not even a thing in 3, I believe, I will instead be getting defense drone. Oh, I just realized I left my work here. Save. I'm on three. I'm not gonna lie, I think I have to go have some time. I just gonna get out there and you will love to shoot them, but defense drone might be nice too, and help keep stuff off of me. Ooh, this cutscene looks nice. Oh my god, that looks so stupid. The Sentinels the fucking tech armor on my suit. Yeah, fortification I immediately get, right. I watched Trevor's stream. You automatically get it for just talking to James. I remember that someone made a badass uh, remix of those opening notes there when Shepard has fallen to the planet. You know, like it plays that part and then immediately it just plays it over and over again. We're not going to deal with the Genesis comic. I don't have time. But it was such a good comic. And who knows if nobody's seen it. I don't care. I don't have time. You guys are too far ahead of me. <laughs> Commander Shepard has been recovered. I mean, I watched it, Chase. Did you watch the Genesis thing? Off my bank guard, not for my infiltrator. Oh, cool. I'm the only one who watched it. Blonde guy that cusses, yells, screams, and shoots fire out of his hands and burst grenades. Oh, my hero academia. I was trying to figure out what that was that they were talking about on Korra randomly. Accused of classism. Jesse, would you like to see the other option for a discount as opposed to asking for an uh, asking to give an advertisement? All right, there we go. First achievement missing in action. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? I think my favorite one in scanning this room is the couch. Hey, no, make sure I'm a credit chip. Still. I love how you fight a credit chip and it actually straight up gives you a single credit chip. Hey there, Rico. Rico, my friend, let's go bowling. <laughs> He's reacting to outside stimuli. Showing yeah. awareness of his surroundings. I know, um, I think he's the, uh, the Centurion shop owner, I'm pretty sure the Renegade thing is I was like, okay, very well, here's the whiny Not human ready. discount, how you leave? Shepard, don't try to move, just lie still, try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing, brain activity is off the charts. <sighs> That's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Right, well, Rico, just make sure that when the stream ends, or if you suddenly feel the need to, get some sleep. Because if you're staying up past 1 a.m., uh, well, let me just say, one time I stayed up a lot, and I ended up having a. Apparently, I had a fucking seizure and didn't even know. So. <laughs> Shepard, do you there. hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Okay. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. 
Yes, yeah, I know the space name, sir. Why does Shepard look older? Also, that fucking scar going through his beard just looks weird. Oh yeah, I will say, my Shepard looked really- my Vanguard looked really fucking weird when I transitioned him from 1 to 2. Woo! That guy kinda looked normal. I'm sorry, I started at level 5. Wait, what level were you? I was level 29 when I ended How the game. How did you okay. level 29? Oh, I went uh, to a particular planet and killed two Thresher mobs that were on there. See, there was another planet after Vermeer then, Chase. No, actually, it was the. There wasn't any uh, planets after Vermeer. It was the Renegade planet, though. I didn't have enough to do the Renegade mission, but the Renegade planet pops up at the same exact time as the Paragon planet if you have enough points for any of them. And I knew that, you know, I found out that there was two Thresher Maws on that planet, so I went to both of them and killed them. Okay. That's out, Chase. Shepard, in my store. Why are you meowing, Inara? Alright. Alright, I'll start off with combat drone overload and incinerate. This is going to be more useful on insanity at the moment. Though I am going to get cryo blast. I am going to make myself the freaking best tech wizard ever. <laughs> Alright, definitely going by that sniper rifle damage. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med thing. We'll get you a clip. Uh, you know, I'll buy it. Decided to try it out. I don't know what it's like in this game. What, what are you trying out? What the incisor. Like never used it in two, so. I guess there are not 30 extra shots. I thought it was supposed to be, uh. I know it's kind of ass in three, but. Okay. I wouldn't be able to tell you anything. <laughs> just have been seen out on I'm surprised that hack mech didn't start with armor. I could have swore all the mechs start with armor in this game. Alright, so Rico station. just reached Afterlife on Omega, and they don't want to leave. Okay, mm -hmm. it'll be after the station blew. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your position. Alright, stop shooting at me. Where did all you guys go? Oh, why? The sequence for whatever reason is feeling a bit easier than normal. Well, on Insanity before when I did it. Yo, Pikachu! I choose you! Sorry. Looking at our more reinforcements heading your way. Grab the grenade launcher off the security officer's body. I swear Here come the mix. Use the grenade okay, launcher to take them out. Make you use left bumper. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm moving, Miranda. Hurry, get to the door, run! You're doing hack, Shepard. Head to the next room and I'll try to meet you. Shepard, be a freebie. I've got them close to your position. Lucas. Oh, yeah, Rico. Omega looks different in Mass Effect 3 compared to Mass Effect 2 because, well, all the shit that happened there that the DLC tries to cover. Uh, not a big fan of the reason to make guns thermal clip based. Yeah, no one was. Uh, you might have seen that cutscene if you've gotten. Wait, you haven't gotten to Mass Effect 3 yet. You might have seen it then if you watched Trevor play it. 
him talking to Conrad Werner in Mass Effect 3. Wait, what? The thermal clip conversation, remember that? Oh. Okay, I just heard the freaking big ass mech. I don't see it. Requesting assistance. Allied force casualty. Are offline. Progress is slow, but subject shows mm. signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Yeah, I mean, I've seen the Genesis comic before, it's fine, it's just, I don't have time. The cost of this project is astronomical, over 4 billion credits so far, but nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money, maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Seriously, he sees the mech coming, he could have probably just ran and tried keeping his head down. I can't figure Miranda out. As project director, she should be ecstatic at all the progress we've made. But she's still the same old Ice Queen. Maybe she's worried Shepard might become the new favorite. Or maybe she is just a pure cold-hearted bitch. Eh, who knows. Charge him up! Get over here! Oof, this is gonna be a rough mission for just being consumed me. Got hurt! What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. So you're on the Citadel still, Chase? Yeah. Sorry. I forgot this is mm -hmm. a new Yeah, I'm on Citadel right now. I'm, I'm helping the Corian. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in. But we better get you to the shuttle first. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible. Unless you've got access. We've got to get you out of here, Shepard. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. <laughs> you and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought More you up. Give me that Our fucking scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, Mara, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Maybe it's time we got moving. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. I'm going to to turn off motion blur and film grain for Mass Effect 2. Hey Jacob, show this bastard to fly. Falling go, down. Pikachu! Oh, Pikachu, fuck. where'd you go? <laughs> uh, Ready to get Pikachu. the hell off this station? Huh? Before we go anywhere, I need some answers. Sure. What do you want to know? You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. Oh, right. When I, I first saw you, that you too. were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might right, have well, two extra bits and pieces now. I guess so. What can you tell uh, me about the project? Good talk to Anderson. Subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. 
I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. Okay. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. But we lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life. So I'm what? curious, why does Hawks you try to goons save? not have the black She's armor anymore or all clips? You said you lost contact. Did you tell what was happening? There was some Maybe gunfire and an explosion right before I was. And... She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we... Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson. This is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network okay, control Okay, so if she was supposed to come downstairs, that, she hasn't. Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking Boy, one time when I woke up. tell me to shut up. That's him. If mom has dresses in there. She the doesn't want them just tech. sitting. Answers directly to Miranda. Come oh on, boy, oh boy, oh boy. This way. Oh, okay, let's hack this. I'm not going to really focus on uh, incendiary ammo. You can just have one point in it, that's fine. That's what I do with Jacob and Miranda. They literally get 31 points, so I just leave one point in incendiary ammo for Jacob and one point in overload for Miranda. And I just focus completely on their biotics. Log update. The Lazarus project is about to enter the final phase. I heard the kitten. Oh shit. Okay. history. finally shows appreciation for everything we've done. Maybe. Threat detected. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station Get out there, is crawling Pikachu. with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Wilson, find us another route out of here. Preferably one that oh, doesn't get straight into an enemy squad. Just keep moving toward the control room. Don't get pinned down. I'll see what I can do. Oh God, they found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry, they're out of control. Up those stairs, Shepard. Good for you, sir. Yeah, I was about to say, there was some Physical also, wasn't reconstruction it? of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who oh, was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter his identity in any way, if he's somehow not the man he used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. I don't know why, I think it's because I've played a bunch of, like, other games that allow you to Shepherd, emote. Down I just here. really want to emote around there, Bastards right now. got me in a leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. 
Oh. How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Yeah, okay. yeah, shut up, Wilson. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> oh, jeez, I forgot that's how I break it. Makes us even now. Hmm? That was louder Maybe than expected. Holy shit. Mix. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have a security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? All right, well, I, guess I came here got a couple of upgrades. Didn't buy all of them because most of it was good stuff like I wasn't that? going to get a whole lot of use out of, so I'm going to save my money a bit right now. Oh. All upgrades affect everyone in your squad. I know. It's, a, it's, a, it's always Miranda. useful to divide them all. Over in Especially considering I had so much credit at this time. There's no way she survived. Yeah, but I know the truck doesn't go away really She's alive. Oh, hi! Where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either oh, dead no. or she's Another a traitor. Big man. Why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Can overload the canisters to clear up the shuttles. That's it. Let's get out of yep. here. Yep. Forgot I have overload. Okay, we took them down, bitches. but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Mm. I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then, they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the Elusive Man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive Man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. <laughs> That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want to know. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. Mm -hmm. Okay, got this codex. I just want to see what I got. Four renegade points. Two Paragon points, minus one meta gel, plus two meta gel, plus one meta gel. Okay, that was weird. That's right, give me credits. I would be saying the one line that Trev's always saying, but I just didn't feel like that. We've been spotted. I was standing on top of a crate. I forget if in the original version of Mass Effect 2 you could pick up more clips when you're a uh, max thing. So, pardon. Um, 60 or above for whatever for pistols. Alright, there are too many mechs for me to handle immediately. Get over here. Go ahead and do your thing. Why'd you kill Pikachu, you sons of bitches? Easy target. Uh, I suppose that's fair. I haven't bothered. I mean, Pikachu's only a level 2 right now, so. What the fuck are you talking about? His drone. He always calls his drone big. Uh, Have you not remembered this? <laughs> like, I honestly expected that immediately once I called my drone Pikachu, Chase would be laughing his head off. Instead, he's just confused as fuck. I didn't know what you were talking and he's not about. Even, he didn't even make it known that he was confused as fuck. 
Like, you need to just silent the whole fucking time and don't bother asking for anything. That's even worse than being normal confused. <laughs> Sorry! I was talking to more and I wasn't paying attention and I heard you yelling about the Pikachu. I'm sorry! <laughs> I mean, I, I thought you would laugh your head off at it. You made me sad, Chase. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I knew exactly what he meant, Blue. I didn't comment on it because you yeah, always said it. I knew that Eric would meant. I'm just surprised that he also didn't go like, oh, brother. But you always said that. I also that. thought that Chase. Well, yeah, but I honestly Subject thought you would go like, oh, brother. Me? Yeah, you. No, I'm used to you saying it. You say it so many times that I just got used to your stupidity. I haven't said go Pikachu a lot. Every time you play any class, every time you play any class of the drone before we ever had, when we first played Mass Effect 3, you've always said it. I don't remember calling my drone Pikachu in any other games. Yes, I did. Uh, I remember. I don't know, maybe you're remembering wrong, or maybe I'm remembering wrong. I think I you're remembering wrong, Pikachu. I didn't call the drone Pikachu this time. I was considering calling it something else, uh, but then I was like, oh, Pikachu, because I don't remember ever calling any of my other drones from Mass Effect 3 multiplayer Pikachu. I did it because we were always that. We I did at one point ask you why do you call Pikachu because you said, because it's, Dead. because Tally has, your, has her drone you named doing? something, you decided to name it Pikachu because why not? It was really oh your God. answer. Wilson betrayed us all. I don't remember those. Even so. if you're sure. But it's he probably because it's been a while since I played a he combat drone based class in Mass Effect 3 killed multiplayer. My staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. All right. All right. If you're wrong. I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jason. You should have taken him alive. This is a pain in the ass mission with just being consuming. Too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed mm -hmm. now. You really all right, to answer Wilson's your question real quick, though, uh, Rico. I normally just Not let my squad anymore. mates do whatever. Sometimes I try to I make sure to control their powers if there's something that's specific that needs to be done. Good like, instance. say, Miranda warping. Some people are far too I don't want to call him in, but it wouldn't make sense for Come insanity. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. You all like, what? what? To you. You mean the elusive man? Uh, I Rico suggested I call my drone Mini Blue. Ah, also, it's not even blue. I should have known your conscience would get it the better of you. Blue. It can't even be blue. Lying to isn't the way red, to get to join but our not cause. Blue. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive <laughs> man when you meet him. Oh, shut up! With your ex-gracious of freaking dying noises. Some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Alright, I'm going to have to fight Hawk now. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard yeah. took down those mechs without any trouble. Time for the boss for this mission, enough. guys! It's been two years Dolphin since the attack. Hawk. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. This is a waste of time. I wish I could have this assault rifle in that cutscene, but no. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? A lot of lives depended on me holding that Build your team! Each soul squad member increased its chance of surviving the mission. Damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Jacob had Let's friends who were there. Recent. What happened? You cut ties with them when you left well, you the Alliance? you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Alenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. 
Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. Alrighty. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Why did I get two renegade points there? Dalvin Hawk, you're order. so annoying. Gonna talk to the elusive man real quick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like the fuck? How do you react like that? Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity ah! and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth ate its sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got So I have a question. What happened in between 2 and 3? Even if you don't kill like Vito, we're he, like, what happens between, 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 between 2 and 3? He dies and the, the new guy takes over. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. I don't know what happened to Santiago there if he managed to escape. I'm assuming he got killed by his men for his bullshit. And then freaking... Voss takes over. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear. I want to know how Voss can takes over. Respect. Even when you talk to Zaid about him, he sounds like he was always just if a this little is a threat competent humanity, shit. You need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed Should by the responsibility. Should with a bullet. <laughs> They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Not like I, uh... If what you say is true, thing. if the Reapers are behind us, right. the whole responsibility of you. leading the council. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of All right, this now what yourself. should I do? I can either go do the Kasubi's mission, get Grunt, get Jack, or help Zaid. The latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. So, sure as fuck, I'm not doing Project Overlord yet. Oh, definitely not. Miranda killed Wilson and Cole. I would say wait Jacob for Project Overlord and do it when you have Legion. All right. Well, just to get their opinion, what do you guys think I should do? But he was a traitor. Uh, Miranda did exactly what I expected of her. Ah! Uh, 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 in more ways than one. I'm in the Jacob's middle of shit soldier, right now, trying best. to figure out He's the beat. Oh, shit. Me, All right, there we go. Now the the shield will be gone. Oh, you Trevor defeated Hot Ship in the most badass way. In what do you think opinion. I'll find there? Okay. I'll if probably end up doing the same thing. All you know is I took it off and incinerate, and it tracked Hawk all the way across his face to the and blew him up. I, I just used the fucking cane up to you to do the, the shields out. 
Yeah, I mean, the cane's an awesome weapon. The problem is you're only able to carry so much ammo for it. Cheap and lock, very loose for return to active duty. And you pretty much lose all that ammo in one shot. Unless you have the one armor piece that gives you extra, you know, heavy ammo, which is that little bag you wear on the bottom. That's normally what I like to wear in this game. All right, so hang on. Okay, so Jesse says I should go up Zay. Lou, what did you say? I said do a recruitment mission. All right, well, we're talking about recruitment. My options are grunt or jack. Um, I'd say I'm kind of biased at the moment, so jack. All right, uh, Eric, who do you think I should go get, grunt or jack? I'm sorry, Chase. A little preoccupied. Just bear with me for a sec. It did right, the outfit. It that looks cool. Oh, cool. They also give the N7 jacket. Alright, I'm obviously going for the hoodie. Um. Okay, I don't know why it's just type. Maybe it's just a switch between normal out the normal armor and the uh, special outfits. And it's funny and cool that you can automatically start off with a recon hood. I was going to wear the recon hood until I realized that the fucking little little visor's a million times better for me. What do you mean better? In better in the sense of yeah, okay, increase health by five percent. The visor um, for the N7 um, helmet and breather helmet. The recon hood just boosts weapon damage the re and like by five percent. The visor increases headshot damage by. I'm playing an infiltrator, so I mean. Oh, you're talking about that visor. I thought you were talking about the N7 helmet. What? Yeah, if you start off with the N7 helmet and breather helmet, you get an increased health by five percent. I'm sorry, but why would I think be talking about the N7 helmet when I said the visor? Well, because it has a visor on it. I thought you'd be referring to that as in like at the start of the game. I don't think I want to wear the helmet though. I mean, it does increase health. Maybe I'll wear the breather helmet. Go Itali Zora fan on this bitch, because he likes wearing the breather helmet and just the default N7 armor. And always playing his default Commander Shepard. By the way, what were my colors again? Oh, uh, material, uh, I, uh, I think it was orange and white. Just double check on that real quick with Jesse. I want to make sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check. N7 Greaves, the basic ones, increase shield strength by 3%. N7 Gauntlets increase health by 3%. N7 Shoulder Guards increase weapon damage by 3%. And N7 Chest Piece increases power damage by 3%. Alright. Difference. There we go. There's the and all the materials. You just makes them various, I mean, I get various that, levels of shiny. Yeah, I get that, but like, what exactly are the materials, and what are they supposed to actually do for the armor? I don't know. Make like, it different levels nothing. of shiny. It's just a cosmetic choice, and it just seems weird. Dyed your armor black and kept the red lines. Yeah, you pretty much just made your armor Colossus armor. I'm considering doing that for my Infiltrator. Then again, no, I don't know if I want to stream my Infiltrator at level 1 or stream my Infiltrator at level 28 or 29. Which means doing New Game Plus. Yeah, I usually go with a kind of like purple and gold look from my armor. Goodbye, Calvin and Hawk. So you almost go Remy Tim, except you choose <laughs> gold instead of orange. Uh. I didn't do an incinerate thing like you, Blue, but I did, um, I did warp and kill Devil and Hawk as it tracked him as he ran away. Ah. Guys, I killed Devil and Hawk and didn't die once. Neato. Nice. I'm so glad I got this locus. Alright, but did you double check with Jesse on what the armor color was? I have. I wanted to text you back. Okay. I didn't know if they were still in the house or not, so. <laughs> what 
what I did, Chase, was explore different planets and got different materials and shit. Good for you. For basically, when you left, I really didn't do anything but besides get um, the materials to upgrade shit. Okay, so you got the grinding shit out of the way. I still need to do more grinding, I want to assume. Alright, who should I bring with me? Okay, this mission's not too ter terribly hard, so who do you guys think I should bring with me to go get that? I know I'm, I'm going to the channels, which okay. makes no sense. Bring Miranda and Garrus, because there's going to be Bex you have to deal with. Hey Eric, do you have my stream pulled up on your end? No. <laughs> okay, because Rico's asking for your channel name, and for whatever reason, I can't follow. I mean, I can't find your name on the follow channels, which I was pretty sure you should be there. It sh should be very simple. Give me one sec. Did you change your name or something at some point? Oh, I never touched it. Okay, because Mass Field I Blood. See your name. Oh, my name is. Okay, I will take the incisor. I don't get why my freaking uh, stream is telling me about my own chat uh, rules. But yeah, it's Mass Field Blood, Blue. Should be that. Oh, okay, Rico. blue. Uh, Jesse doesn't know the colors they picked for you. They picked new ones. Pink, neon, they pink. They picked new ones. Purple, pink. Eh. Ah! Purple, pink. <laughs> well, Eric was close. What's the main and what's the prime, Chase? I Purple's the primary, since it was what they said first. Alright. I think actually that might be Trevor's colors that he made for his character in Mass Effect 3, purple pink. I have your stream up now, Blue. Alright. I think this is a purple, I'm not sure. I know that's a blue. I know that's a blue. I'm pretty sure that's a blue. I'm not sure if this is a purple though. I know this is a purple. Ah, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Let's see. Yeah, he was streaming Resident Evil 7 last night, Rico. You missed it. Yeah. Right. I'm fairly I certain this is a purple, so I'll just look for that. Beat it. Where's pink? Last night I did beat it, though. I'm... The next game will be either Yakuza or if Blue comes up with something. Decide to do. Boop, boop. Da, 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 da. Pink is in tink too. You gotta go for pattern. Um, I'm sorry, what? I mean, this might be pink. That's the closest thing I've seen to pink. So he's playing an engineer, maybe some colors similar to one of your powers. Yeah, no, I had it that way Jesse chose um, colors. basically getting every upgrade for me because I get tech, I get all the nonsensical upgrades to chase. Mm. I get tech and biotics, so I have to upgrade right, everything so for the benefit, full benefit for my character. I think this is the character. closest I'm going to get to the colors that um, Jesse requested. I'm pretty sure this is purple and I'm pretty sure this is pink. And if it's not pink, it's salmon, and that's the closest thing i found. Yeah, I did like it. I liked Resident Evil 7 too. It was enjoyable. At least it wasn't like original Resident Evil control schemes. It's the only thing that made me really off put with Resident Evil before ever trying Resident Evil. I am considering getting village now, though. Uh, I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything. Zayi only gives you a fucking fish. Zayi gives you the flamethrower, right? What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're yeah. not your favorite anymore? I've That's not really useful for me. I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. 
It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. I'll go probably do Jack's mission. Well, actually, I'll do the side mission course. I unlock with Arya and then Jack's what can you tell mission. Me about this colony we're going to. Freedom's progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus This occurred to me. I didn't look at my money. They had a small military force for protection. Don't forget, Chase, we are trying to do all the little missions on every planet, too, really. still on this one, like we did in the first one. Unremarkable. I thought... Until the disappearance. Hey, I thought you decided to go there, because you didn't want to do it. I didn't say that. One giant mystery. I don't know. All I know like is, know I was going to do a regardless, so... Okay, yeah, I, I will allow that, charge. Rico. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. Alright, what would also, you have yeah, changed? Freaking Miranda to start, is I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. Her. She gets better, but the elusive man but she's wouldn't bitchy. allow it. That's why Ashley he was afraid it might affect your personality. She wasn't your as bitchy. Somehow. Fuck Ashley. He wouldn't let us do anything Miranda's way better than Ashley. In any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man mm. is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics, or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. Oh yeah, we were- I thought we were gonna do all the side things on every age. planet, because How they give extra things and help in general. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. Alright. Credits. Oh ho ho ho! I am swimming in credits. How many credits did you guys start with? Near max. Uh, I currently have nine hundred seventeen thousand. I already did buy a couple things, though. I got okay. a lot of shit. So. Do you remember how much you started with? Fuck no. I. How much did you start with? Because I know I started with nearly the maximum you could get in three in first game. I started with one million fifty-five thousand. No, you uh, had more than because mine was only in nines. I will get you soon, Cryoblast. I just wanted to get Incinerate up to level 2, so that way recharge time was faster, because... Actually, no, recharge time isn't faster. Recharge time on all powers gives bonus to damage mechanic. Further reduces recharge time on all powers gives bonus to duration. Also further increases Paragon and Renegade scores. Of course. But yeah, Jace, I never said that we shouldn't do all the missions on every planet on two. I'm talking about the first game. Yeah, I, I, All right, the first game he complained about. The second game, the missions yeah, are short yeah, and easy, yeah, the and they automatically game. just force you to do it instead of exploring the planet. Exactly. That's why I'm okay with the missions in the second game, Chase. The first game was the one I was always iffy with. Mm. But they still give a lot of benefits for doing them because of story and stuff. Mm -hmm. How is this planet still rich? It's just that lucky. You better really heavily invest in the stock market. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. No. There it goes. Jeez, that was the one. That oh my fucking god, god, they're still they coming! Working for the wrong people. What are you Maybe. doing? I'm doing but Jack's the mission. The These guards are still coming. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? I have not even it's walked out of the first progress. room yet. Don't know much else. About Chica Bell we'll out? find out when we get there. You said you served in the uh, Alliance. Okay. Five years and God. Oh my God. Okay. Almost all of my ammo. Spent a couple of years I think it's there. done now. I've never heard of the I Corsair. Think the entire system is just a an rich system. And yeah, the incisor is hired garbage. Hired starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the. I was actually using the uh, we ever size caught, believed during that mission. Any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. I don't really have a lot of options red tape to sink a during that mission. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. 
when colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. Jacob is boring. Probably why no one really... Yeah, probably why no one really romanced him either. Like, some people did, but, like, not enough to justify... Oh, my God, okay. You know, keeping him around. All right, so mission summary. Shepard escaped attack in the facility alongside operators Taylor and Lawson. Facility destroyed by remote detonation. Salvage teams will ensure no incriminating data survived per Miranda's recommendation. I'm running security sweeps on other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole. Regardless of the cause, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. I received a crap ton of import bonuses. 4,000 experience, start at level 5, 104,999 credits. So, you know, got those extra on the station. 10,000 element zero, 10,000 iridium, 10,000 palladium, 10,000 platinum, 190 paragon, and 190 renegade. Holy shit, I didn't think I started off with 190 renegade. I wasn't sure where my uh, renegade bar was at. And of course, the M100 grenade launcher. They didn't even talk about the fact that I got... Right, okay! So credit funding, 3,750. Credits found, 5,100. Total credits earned, 80... I mean, 8,850. I almost said 88,000. That wouldn't have been right. Hmm. We should be there shortly, Shepard. All right, back to the the smuggling criminal. By the way, the, the smuggling cargo mission that, um, the other colonies? that um, no Arya gives back, you, you should no totally forces. do it. Every I single planet in that system is considered security. wretched resources. Just I'm going to do it. I just no didn't do it yet. Out. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? All right, there's one planet's not rich in resources. One. If the elusive man says you're are in you charge, rich? You're in charge. What yes, you are. This investigation will turn up oh my god. That's a huge deposit in so much shit. Got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Mm. Just keep your eyes open. We're looking for anything that tells us who did this. Understood, Commander. With luck, we'll find something that was missed at the other colonies. Then we can find out who's behind it and get some Yeah, payback. hopefully. <sighs> the only real annoying thing is getting element zero in the game. Yeah, that seems to be the rarest thing. Which I guess makes sense. People are probably mining the shit out of that for starships. Yeah, service provided additional weapons. AKA the Shuriken. You guys really don't like this weapon. What? I just don't like how it fires. I no problem with the Shuriken. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's definitely a decent weapon, but it is, in my opinion, Looks much like better in the third game. And left right in the of yeah, the I don't hate the third game in the third game. I just don't like it in this game. Yeah, in the third game, the Shuriken feels like it's got a lot more weight behind the shots, but that's probably also because it decides to fire six shots instead of three. Yeah, I got the new explosion. <laughs> Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Mm -hmm. How in the world did they manage that? <laughs> I kid, we all know how. Man, what? Uh, 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 ah, shit! Strange. Hold up. Uh, ah, ah, shit! I don't know that response, how to respond to that. Charge my shields. There we go. Right, hold up. I didn't level up uh, Miranda. You're gonna die if I don't give you uh, points and warp. Excuse me. Oh my God, 
Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. I think the uh, dogs are waking up. You know, I put on this helmet to give me more health. I was about to say shields, and I realized I put it on for health. System failing. Rerouting power. Critical system damage. Critical system damage. I've got him. Ow, 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 ow. I forgot. You can't roll in this game. Yeah, no, you can't roll in this game. I didn't sell if she's parts. Let's do that real quick before I forget about the credits. Ow, what? Where did you come from? He goes. Oh, I used overload, not a... Uh... Okay, never mind. It's, it's, it's got no more. Those mechs should there we have go. hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Told me right thumbstick. I clicked left thumbstick and it did it. Ah, uh, yes, the mini games that they decided to get rid of for the next game. Ooh, this is gonna be a rough mission. I forgot it's three heavy mechs you have to fight just to try to get all the cargo. And they burn through the cargo fast. That's why oh, I yeah, they the game. Did. We've been spotted. Like, you have to make sure you have ammo for a time. Ow, my fucking shields. Ah! Damn it, I didn't get out of the way in time. Motherfucker, you're still alive? Motherfucker. Did that? It sounds like the Fenris Mix. Strange. Security systems were disabled at the other colonies. Warning, hostile forces and non standard ammunition. Ammunition? Oh, I regret bringing me inside of this thing, it's not helping. Enemy down! <laughs> Shoot them before they take up the Is this that's all you have to worry about? So does this give you like that guy still has armor. materials, or does it just out. give you credits per crate? I got him. Hello. I, I don't, don't really remember. know what the crate is. I'm sorry. I'm kind of in a situation where I'm almost dead. Weapons, and you're only able to use them until you pick up more. Someone reprogrammed them to attack all Oh, this is bad. 
What's bad on your end? Miranda and Garrus are down, and I'm being cornered by a mech. Huh, that's the exact same team I bring on Jack's ship, too. Like I shouldn't be doing this mission right oh, now. Oh, tactical cloak! Don't fail me now. I want to grab a salvage, but then I won't have this cover. Until Blue can get more guns, like playing more of the game. Yeah, that's all right, the guns Jacob. I can use. What? I was sending Jacob forward to see if. Uh... Overloading the mech. You don't need to overload the mech. Damn it, Shepard! Jacob, I was shooting at the fucking dude who was right in front of you. Alright, that scenario worked out a fuck ton better. Oh, I fucking hate the incisor. This fucking gun is worthless right now. Look right there! Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chance. How do you recognize me? I'm wearing a helmet. Put those weapons down! Is that... you're alive? Remember when I gave you that get data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Prada, weapons down. This <laughs> is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander oh, that's still, for that one glitch is still there. I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with there damage to a Sutsio-Dusk Travers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely to live. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. <laughs> we'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. <laughs> Make sure to keep in radio contact. <clears throat> Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Ooh. Yeah, but like, without going into detail, a possible power-up that Noel was gonna have in Black Clover, I had called, we'll take care. and it happened. And I'm fucking happy. <laughs> Gear up! Oh, right, this motherfucker. Forgot for a moment there was a guy right in front of this uh, wall safe. Why are you in my way? Bitches, I tell you, bitches. Use overload on them. You guys can keep shooting them all you want. I'm gonna use overload on them. Like you told me to. Okay, that rocket is not gonna go. Damn, this rocket drone can take a lot of uh you can eat out. Damn it! I go, got rid of that rock. Really am underprepared for this mission to be fair. Enemy down. Can I back 
Now he's I have to land the moon. The enemy's killing you? To myself. Because I keep beating myself up thinking I should be doing this better, but I am under level. That was to myself. You could have ignored that, but you chose not to. Because he gets annoyed. Exactly. Maybe you should mind your own business. I talk to myself constantly. Oh, God. Shepard, Peraza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on. We can still catch them. Garrus, quit sucking on helium, buddy. Why do you Garrus is sucking on helium? Because he's a sucker! Like, his voice got really high-pitched for us. He's like, FIRING A HIGH-IMPACT SHOT! Where the fuck do you think you're going? Were you aiming down the scope at the time? I might have been. Unless it was still rocket gun. Want to get to Vito first? Get your squad into cover, and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. All right, Jacob, you get your ass over Going there. To cover. Miranda, get your ass over there. All right, I got full ammo. Let's do this. The right Take points. So, I can't leave this mission at all. Okay. Well, good luck, Peter. Okay, guys, I have a very important question. So, my next two levels are most likely going to go into the game pack with Loke up to level 4 for that big damage. Mm -hmm. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take but down. But I have an important question for the two of them. Yeah. Alright, I'm pausing so I can hear this important question. Should I focus on leveling up Incinerate, that way I can just, you know, have to Incinerate and maybe pick up AI hacking, although I don't know if I will yet? Or should I focus on Disruptor Ammo, that way I can get Squad Disruptor Ammo, then I'll have you know, Squad Disruptor Ammo to take out Chief, so I'll then immediately put some you know, armor switching there, some armor piercing ammo. Yeah, that's gonna take a bit, Miranda. Okay, thanks for answering the question, Lord. Sorry. Do I need to repeat myself? Yeah, and I paused the game. Go ahead, quickly repeat oh. yourself. After I get tapped from Clove up to level 4, should I focus on Incinerate just so I can have, like, you know, a little bit extra damage against armor with that? Or should I focus on getting the disruptor ammo up to level 4 so I get the squad disruptor ammo? That way, once I get Garrus to squad armor piercing ammo, I can just swap back and forth between those two depending on what I need more for the situation, be it shields or armor. Ooh, that's actually a tactical uh, idea you have there. Um, I would say go for um, incinerate, though. That's my opinion. Okay. And even though it's kind of a worthless ability, a part of me. I, what, I can't remember which one of you it was. Someone mentioned full sniper squad, and me just taking Garrus' thing on for everywhere. And then I could just constantly have us be swapping back and forth between disruptor, armor pierce, and shooter ammo. Defense systems active. <laughs> this mirror, this mech is chasing me around the fucking uh, crates. Oh 
Miranda is actually still alive though. Although I have to ask, the Shredder MLB uses to work for Um, Shredder ammo is supposed to be good against organics back in the first game. So yeah, I, I know it is, but I work the same in this one. It's just like... Uh, what? I get an down for health bar. Do I really need the extra damage for this? Okay, he doesn't have shields anymore. Um, as for the extra damage, I mean... It's insanity difficult, so maybe. Yeah. Okay, Brand is dead. Run, bitch! Ow! Shields. Ow. Uh, oh boy, well, I'm fighting the warden now. Oh, Alright, Pikachu, did you do something? Oh, I made it. I don't know if Pikachu is doing something. I don't see Pikachu. Oh, this is a bit of a mistake I made. I might be stuck on this one forever now. What are you doing right now again? Yeah, what? What mission are you doing right now again? The three the mecha, the mechs that are destroying cargo. Okay. Bye, so you can avoid it? I can get the cane, yes. Well, the cane, I feel like the cane should not be allowed because that is a cheap way of winning. Because that's the nuclear cane. Eric, you can't it? just say, I don't like this thing, it's not allowed. I wasn't going to use the cane because it's broken. It's a broken gun to use in any situation. It's I only use the cane, really, for extreme situations and boss fights. So. Exactly, so. Using it to solve all my problems just doesn't make any sense. I think the cane is, it is an incredibly good. You can get to it, means, oh, how did that? But you're limited in the amount of times you can use it. Yeah, but then you have, like, then you get the one bomb that would pick anyone's teeth, and then you just neutralize it. Neutralizing the uh, challenge of it would be an insanity. That's all I'm saying. Well, there's, this rule was not established beforehand, and so I'm, I was I'm, considered. I'm, I'm, I, I, thought that, I, thought, I thought the change was should have been established in general. You never said that. It seemed like it was established. That's the problem. He never said it. Okay, it, it seemed like it was the thing that should have been established. Okay, look. I say we just fill out the game. I just think that she shouldn't be using it to solve all these issues. I can't. It'll take like three missions just to get enough heavy ammo to fire at once. It's still more than it should. That's actually, more, that's, that's actually a lot more missions than it should take. A lot of missions than it should take, I should say. The game is broken in the game. Ow, where did my shields go? Defense systems active. I'm trying to see if I can shoot off this next head. Nope. Failed to do that. Is it? Do we have any new laundry in the washer? Okay, well, we've got a crap ton of laundry that needs to get in the washer. Can you please start something? This should come in handy. There we go, more heavy weapon ammo. That crate never broke. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna break it myself. if there's anything in here besides Tally and this other Corian who's trying to treat another Corian. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded Shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Yep, I'm just grabbing credits. Just because I can. I think you get credits in Mass Effect 2 for scanning Metagel when you have full Metagel and you get, uh, yeah. experience for scanning Metagel containers when you have full Master Metagel in the back. third game. Mex will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. 
Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Well, I have to ask, Eric. I just used a black form to basically one-shot the boss in Jack's mission. Is that also not allowed? Black shirt How did you manage yeah, that? The black storm is, is not pretty that difficult to use. Yeah, it managed to take out basically all of his health. It basically managed to take out all of his shields and armor. All he had left was enough health that like one Who didn't shot with us? the incisor would have finished him all. The monsters. That's one target though. The, the cane neutralizes took everything. everything in an area. Is the thing. Well, bro, I use it to take out a group of enemies. We just but I mean, it can also just neutralize you everything. You didn't see, but I yes, see. This wasn't a rule established at the start. I don't. Approve of it just being tossed like in right now. He must have I'm just saying that the cane is a what very is broken that? gun. My God. Well, should I also say no revenant, or actually, none of us can even get the revenant. I was going to say, sure, no revenant, blue, I'll take alien. that bullet there are for you, Chase and blue, no revenant. I was going to say, Except yeah, none of us can use the revenant in the first place. The only oh, one of us that can get any of the third like tier guns is me, since you are engineer and sentinel, so I'm the only one that can get the widow. It could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. And I've been using the Black Star, and the Black Star is not sword. that powerful. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. It only you. is then good at dealing sometimes, but it will never insta-kill everything. So I don't know how you insta-killed anything with the Black Storm. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? Mm. The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. Next chapter, June twentieth. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to wait two I weeks for the, the continuation of Black Clover. Got it. Electromagnetic. No, actually, it's for the best, really. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He will return unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still Oh, wow, alive, that one mission, Game Jack, got me two level ups. I, I can ex He's drunk, I figured it he would. Medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one. Oh, my God! Good luck out there. I physically if can't I find do this mission. Anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Do you, have you, okay, do you have like the missile launcher or anything yet? No, I haven't even put anything in any heavy weapons. Okay, it might be worth picking up like the orc launcher, maybe worth picking up some I can't heavy weapons. Back, I can't pick it back Go. out. Good work. Can you not hit like reloads, restart mission? The quarians forwarded No, it's just a straight onto the debriefing. character selection no here. New data. But it's a surprising I, olive branch given our history. No, you and I. No, okay. I think if once you use character selection, you can then change your guns. 
I don't have any other guns other than what I bought. I have not upgraded any of the, bought any of the upgrades or anything. Okay, is what I'm saying. But Maybe just reload from before you, you went on the planet, the then? The that would be probably before Kasumi's mission, so I'll be fucked either way! Get the feeling you okay, know about them already. then that's your fault! I, I have said this to so, several people so many times. Make so many fucking saves! Rotate your saves! Oh my god! Systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens. Usually in exchange this for their is why you don't rely on auto saves! Make are your own saves to avoid this nonsense! back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Mm. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Ooh, relays, nice. that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? Let's make it sure they're agents can save for the Reapers. Out. It could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Yeah. If this is a war, I'll lead an army. We're a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, I Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm good on resources anyway, so the mission itself with the resources thing doesn't bother me one that, that much. Expected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's right. on Ilium. So... My sources oh, say Ember. That she's I was trying to figure out who that was. Yeah, if thanks so, for the uh, can't be uh, comment on the outfit, because the, co okay, the colors were selected by... Casimore. What was the call? I'm on the Jacob outfit. A simp. I'm still a specter. He said Maybe nice outfit. The council to help oh. us out. If you okay, Charles, was that about Jacob being a simp? Only? What? Just remember, you've been gone Ember a long thinks that Jacob's time. a simp. Things uh -huh. have changed. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't understand. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. I don't know, Ember. If you're still here, go ahead and explain why you think Jacob's a simp. Good. Two things before you go. First, Head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you- What?! Okay, sure. That makes sense, game. Hey, I had it that time, but then the, the game time, decided huh? not to knock down the robot when I told it to knock talking. it down. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? Well, I mean, 
Yeah, yeah fell apart the game Superman. doesn't talk back to you. Up, the council just it it is so you got to you gotta push buttons, you can't I say, can't hey, game, do this. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. Well, Chase, I don't need your fucking sass. Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. You know what? Save How about the next thing you did with a recruitment? You scan for this. every material you could possibly get. Go at it, buddy. You only told me last night. Be a uh, ass. No. No, you asked for opinion, and you took opinions from everyone else. It's not my turn to put my opinion out there. I listened to you when you said go get Kasumi. Okay, right, cool. You're so saying. you. True, but you only get one more person, and it goes back to me. So whenever it comes back to me, you can do that. Smart ass. Uh, don't be yeah, a little no. jackass. Don't, don't be a jackass. You're the one kind of being a dick right now, dude. I was just you making a joke. A... Okay, you yeah. You guys are being a dicks on the Normandy reveal scene. Really? Home, you're being you. a dick to me when I was literally I we'll have having an me. actual trouble right now. You're being an actual dick starting. So me I being counter-reactive is, is literally completely fine. I'm just being, I'm just doing exactly what you did to me just two seconds ago. I didn't oh, yell at you and tell you, hey, do this thing, so I think you just need to calm down, dude. Well, I also, yes, but what you did do is literally criticize me what I'm doing. Try to make fun of what I'm trying to do. Not everything is a personal right, attack so against you. Back with some holes and and I felt like, like alright, you know what, you're right. Every, nothing, everything's not a personal attack against me. However, when I feel personally attacked, it isn't a personal attack against me. Because that's how I feel, you shithead. Okay, uh, I, I don't want to. Okay, can you all relax, please? Stop yelling at my ear. Uh, look what you fucking did. No, don't even try it! He started fucking with me! I only tr went against him! He can apologize because there is no reason for his attitude of me at time right now. Fair? I uh, air. No. Okay, fair. But can you just shut up, please? Stop yelling. I don't want this. Jeez. All right. I'm gonna invite him back. Go ahead. I will ask him to apologize, and then tacos. Obviously, I would prefer to you also just apologize for yelling, but you are in the right somewhat about it. So. Don't start an argument with me about that. I just don't want you guys fighting right now, okay? Alright, so reading. Yeah, you came back in the middle of a fight. This is unfortunately something that always happens. Everyone gets into fights and Chase decided to be annoying. Chase decided to give backslash and be irritating to me, so I gave it back to him, and he felt like he was the victim in that case. That's what happened. Well, I you thought did that raise I, your voice yes, in that regard. Yes, I did, and I do say that I am in the wrong with that. But he is nowhere near and any you, way of the right. You normally what he say did. that you don't lose your temper, and then we get in the fights all the time, and you're always. I said I don't rage quit on games because I can understand a game. I get mad at people because people can be dicks. And there's sometimes no reason to be a dick when somebody's already in a bad attitude. Case in point, when Chase did it. In a game, I can understand okay, well, the game. People can be dicks for no reason just to be dicks. Alright, well, we're gonna drop it. Especially when he comes back. Okay? Hmm. Anyways. We'll make up whenever Chase comes back into the party. I know because Eric yelled at him enough that Chase decided to go into a depressive mood and leave. That's the unfortunate thing, too, and also why I don't like it when you guys yell, because whenever you yell, you normally chase Chase away. Yeah, and You but... wonder why he doesn't like playing games with us much. Okay, you know what I also wonder? Why I get irritated with you guys when you decide to condescend me when I'm in a really bad attitude. Normally, when I get you in a bad attitude, I go, I'm sorry, Blue, I didn't mean it, I just had to, it just seemed funny, I am sorry. But when Chase says it, when I says, when I call him out, I go, I'm not in the wrong here. I don't want to put, put I someone's buttons. At this point, it's, just, it's done and over, and also, just, never mind, I'm going to shut up now, because otherwise we're just going to keep bringing this up. I'm just saying that his attitude was unnecessary. <laughs> That's all I was saying. Everyone's attitude is unnecessary at this point. Anyways, 
Reading the mission summary. Collectors confirmed a source of attacks on freedom's progress. Quarian survivor Vitor returned with Tally Zorda, the migrant fleet. We'll examine his Omni tool for anything useful. Heavy weapons ammo. Unfortunately, I won't be able to immediately get that upgraded because I've got to get um, Morden first, which is what I normally like to do. Cerberus funding, 10,000 credits. Credits found, 9,000. Total credits are 19,000. And we got 2,000 Iridium. Excellent. Yeah, I usually laugh at bad situations in games, like it during Resident Evil. Something... Well, yeah, during games. Yeah. But it's just that when it's you, people, you lose your temper a lot people. when it's with us. Yeah, yeah just in and general, it's in annoying general. on my end. And I'm just letting you know it's not just to you guys; it's to people in general. Because in my life, people oh no, have I know. Been at this dicks. point, I'm kind of aware of your whole life story. Yeah, so no. I'm aware of that. So I just wish that we wouldn't be doing this all the time because it gets repetitive and annoying. Welcome aboard the new Norman, like I said, Commander. I don't do it in games because a game I can't really get mad at. The dossiers. I'd strongly but people I'm allowed, I can get mad at it because the people should know better in most situations. Omega. But we people don't. Use some type of advanced technology right. well, to immobilize Chase will hopefully victims. come back soon. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure and... to protect us. Hmm? Discord notification. You still don't get it, do you? I'm not messaging charge over of line. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. <laughs> Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. But I was able to back out the planet. The Mr. Moreau's talent is a little waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare right. and cyber Like, I wasn't even really suite. paying much attention. That, Why the fuck did that argument start again? Um, I was in a bad attitude, and then Chase gave a sarcastic ass, a sarcastic and insulting, and felt insulting to me when I was already in a bad attitude. So I felt like I had to lash out at him because he was unnecessarily being a sarcastic ass. Okay, well, probably next time, if that happens, you should tell him Jacob first, Chase, that put me in a bad mood, can you please stop you before you lash out? Because every time you lash out, and it's normally at Chase, whenever you lash out at Chase, he leaves. And it's annoying. Yeah, right, yeah but, you know about Galaxy but map. he should have figured out I was in a bad mood when he saw me hearing my frustration of this thing I'm doing it. So All the right, here's a question. How many times have you guys figured out that I'm in a bad mood when you do these kinds of things? I usually How many times do I specifically state that I'm in a bad mood? Um, you you, you usually say you're in a bad mood before these things happen, though, to be fair. And then you press that at that point. Why do you do that? Do you know how annoying that is? When's the last time I pressed it? If you say that I stay it before, you say that it. means you pressed it. Oh no, no, I mean like you usually say it before anything could be said. Like if we start something, you say, "Hey guys, I'm in a little bit of a bad mood. I just want to play this to get my mood better." And usually we don't mess with you. Sometimes you get into a bad mood because we mess with you, but then we apologize when you do. Cause it's hard to tell with you because you're not always vocal either, and you're. You have a quiet sieve, is the thing. That is very true. I am fairly quiet about a lot of these things. That's why I expect at this point that you guys should be able to recognize, like, from the way I talk. Even if I don't immediately say I'm in a bad mood, that you could pick it up. Or at least I hope you could. So, I, I agree with you on that. I think it's even more beautiful when you do that comparison. Sorry, Blue, I was reading your comments. But I did hear you. Yeah. You have a quiet seat. Right, when I when I lash out, that should be very clear that I'm in a very bad mood. Mm -hmm. But then if you they lash out and you decide to keep pushing, poking me with a stick, that's your own fault, which is what Chase was doing. All right, well, Rico, don't worry. Just because we're having an argument doesn't mean I'm going to automatically end the stream. I only stream if, like, Eric decided to go on a 20-minute rant about something. Well, no, I'm just explaining to Blue how I feel about certain things and how it's easy to tell when I'm in an agitated mood, which I have stated to you before. I'll just recorrect it because you asked again. Mm -hmm. Right, Blue? You did ask. Yeah. <laughs> Though, to say something, Rico, Eric did actually once have a whole 
20 minute rant about something I specifically was doing or trying to do I should say about a particular playthrough that ended up souring my mood so much that even after we tried it again and something else happened that like I'm not even gonna say was his fault or anything because it was technically my fault then uh it just completely shut down the playthrough and then I restarted it on my own by myself because I'm like I can't fucking play this game with Eric if he's just gonna yell at me again So, that's all I'll say on that matter. I'm not going to bother bringing up anything else about it. Yeah, most of the time Blue has ever ended a stream or something, it has sometimes been on him. Not saying that I haven't caused some issues. I've been a controversial person, but that's personal life issues. Which, apparently, no one ever listens to, because they, sometimes they still poke at me in the spots that I told them that's probably the worst time to do so. We probably also just forget. I'm a rather forgetful person. I know, but the, there, the so. same thing goes with Chase, which I have also clarified. <laughs> Alright, well, I do try not to poke at you, because I know at this point that you... You snap if you get really annoyed at us, so... I usually have a cool head. It takes a lot, and it mostly comes to putting me... Putting under the needle where it's something more sensitive. Which right, to be honest, it feels like it's a lot less to take. Oh to no, get every, you mad every at this argument point. you have ever heard me in, you have never heard me in a true argument. Anyways, um, oh, I didn't realize I automatically start off with the arc projector. That's cool. Yeah, you do. Alright, I didn't know if you'd automatically still start off with the arc projector, because, like, there were a bunch of weapons that. You have to buy at stores this time. So. Yeah, well, the anyway. I think I think me and Chase would we started to said that we started with it. I don't remember hearing you say it, so that's why I'm bringing it up. Yeah, that's fine. I just like you know I think we did say it. We might have not. I know I did say something about it, but I don't know if you were listening or not. Who knows? I might have been in the middle of a battle and not listen. Most likely. I mean, Mass Effect can feel like if that. if I'm really trying to listen, I'll pause the game and stop, which is bad on my part because you guys are ahead of me and you still play when you're listening, but I have to focus on you guys if I want to listen. So... Yeah, I get that. I mean, right. I understand. Sometimes I have to do that depending on the situation. For me to comment or give a suggestion, I can't be doing something or else I will die. Yeah. Alright, so message from Anderson. On the off chance the rumors are true and you are actually alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on top and it's only fair to you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Alright. Deal struck with Zaid Masani from the Elusive Man. Shepard, we've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You may know the name. Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems, and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You will find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that personally. Alright, lost contract. I mean, lost contact with your survey ship from Project Firewalker. Commander, the MSV Rosalie, a survey ship with Cerberus Connections, has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Side Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Case and Dr. Robert Oloy are aboard the MSV Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, her survey team, and the doctors. The MSV Rosalie was last seen in the planets in Ziona. The Alista here. Hmm. Normandy crash site located from Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard, our scans in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you should see. The final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you. But we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to, the place, I mean, to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for, for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find some closure. Godspeed to you, Commander. Oh, so the Elusive Man sends a message about the recon hood. Shepard, it occurred to our armor technicians that you might not want to show your face of where you go. They sent by a hood. First issues to its covert operations. It has additional microframe functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarter. Okay. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh, shit! Oh, I'm gonna die here. What's going on in your end, Eric? Blue suns. Ah. Uh. Or not! Okay. 
Okay, right. cool, ignore me. What are you doing anyway? What your mission? Um, I just decided to do jacks because I was able to back out. Oh, yeah, okay. What? How do you do Renegade what? You should have, uh, you know, told him to w walk away from this, and then you can do Renegade by shooting him. That's the thing I'm always confused about. There are those freaking Renegade options that actually give you Paragon points. Fucking reason. <laughs> Alright, anyways. I was reading my messages. Overlord. Shepard, one of our souls just went off the grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology. I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized. Enough that I can't divulge operational details over the channel. You'll find them on the planet IT Typhon system in the Phoenix Massing Cluster. Please use care in this matter. Alright. Arc Projector. Shepard, we recently had an incident involving the death of one of our outposts in the Scaling Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against the guest scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate it overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field records. We know it works. Now we want to see what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train other operatives. Alright, rendezvous with Kasumi. Shepard, at great cost and effort, we have tracked down the master thief, Kasumi Goto, and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Sakara Ward in the Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password silence is golden to begin the rendezvous. Ascension Financial Services, your account. From Stanwick Dobbs Banking Agent, Ascension Financial Services, Earth. Oh, hello, Commander Shepard. Thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducing most administration fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status and the reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of 999,999 credits. Thank you for banking with Ascension Financial Services. We look forward to working with you. Are you protecting your greatest assets? We will find the best life insurance rates and coverage to fit your needs. Reply for a free quote today. And none of those credits transfer to you back in freaking Mass Effect 3. So you want to start off with like 35,000 credits or something. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Scam man! <laughs> Is there anything I should know? Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew <laughs> has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rico, I didn't start off with 70k. I started off with over a Isn't million. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? How? I started off, harsh, or I Cerberus ended the first game. With we the max credits. Advance That's human how. technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus <laughs> looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. 
Okay, even cool. In conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. Nice to get more I'm ammo. Inside. I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked <laughs> by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat. Still, I like that I can wear the hoodie in this game. Honor, I fucking love the N7 hoodie. Terrified. But mostly I, I actually feel want one. I haven't bothered to get one yet. Your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Seriously, this sounds like you're freaking trying to flirt with me there, Kelly. I like it, but I don't exactly appreciate trust it. trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Nope. Okay. Here we go. Maybe we'll talk later. Man, it really sucks that a bunch of the freaking romance options from Mass Effect 2 get sidelined in Mass Effect 3. Yeah, but even then, Tally and Garrus, uh, you could tell they didn't put a lot of effort into that. More effort than, they put put more effort than everything else, yes. But, like, you could literally just put the scene where they come up to the cabin near the end of the game side by side with Steve's panel. I think How maybe also, uh, Steve, huh? I don't know about Samantha. I know Samantha Trainer. you can hop in the shower with her to, like, initiate the romance or something. Because I saw Trevor stream and some, you know, trainer went into the fucking shower. Sometimes I and then the there was the option there, I guess. The internal compensators and pull but, crazy Ivan, you know? Like, you can literally put their scenes side by side. It's the exact same thing. But no. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, everyone else besides you know, Talion and Garrus. This the zero effort. Alliance ships have bridges. Asari have cockpits. Oh, wait. No, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Wow. That really sucks. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, we were just having this argument again. So let me Can talk you to Joker. This, Commander, it's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. All oh, right, there's a the second heavy man. Oh shit! Oh shit! But on a Back first gen up. frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended oh, oh. to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Eh. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. God, you are such a downer. I love that line. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. God, you're such a downer. <laughs> Fucking love that. It's so funny. Can't go that way yet, because it's stupid. That's why I'm getting Morden first. I always get Morden first, just so that way I can upgrade shit. <laughs> Kick someone right in their daddy bags. You're not allowed to use that term. You're not British. Actually, I'm pretty sure you're Scottish. I thought it was a British term. Chase, who do you think? Come on, Rupert. What do you think? Not who do you sorry, think? Princess. Yeah, what What do you think? Do you think, uh, right the up. Let me just Donald get my down in ladies. engineering? Do you think he's British or Scottish? Mr. Because Eric thinks he's British, I'm pretty I sure he's daddy back. But the term daddy back is a British slang term. I'm just saying daddy bags is um, a British uh, term. Yeah, Scotland's nearby Britain, though. 
I know, I know. Shepherd, the hero I just, of the it's more considered a British terminology than anything day. else. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be a service? Why are we fucking having this argument? I'm not having an argument, I'm just telling you. But have you ever tried I'm telling you again if we have British trans said. I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. <laughs> okay. Taking okay, down Eric. Collectors is going <laughs> I'm to be sorry, I business. used the wrong word. The I don't know why we have a few meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients. Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than oh, grocery yeah. you're shopping gonna have in the to Citadel. Get, like, uh, the Forget I mentioned if you want headshots. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for the phalanx on the definitely Citadel. Definitely about to Mass Effect 3. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you do here on the Normandy? <laughs> what don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash <laughs> my hands most of the time. This ain't no luxury yeah. liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? Oh my god! I was happy exactly about that. Infinite. But losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I won't take any more of your time. Right. Back to work. Back to work. Mm -hmm. Just getting all the random side quests here, even though most of the stuff I'm not even gonna get till later. Commander Shepard. Well, with the exception of one. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original <laughs> Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my <laughs> life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. <sighs> You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Now I fight the boss. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, <laughs> the Skillian Blitz. Okay, I get we it now. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. <laughs> That's why I focus warp on Miranda. <laughs> okay. 
You need to calm down, Corporal. Good soldier stays cool even under fire. Every other room is locked in this damn place. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model <laughs> can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why didn't you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They also, can I just note the ironic threat, uh, thing that Donnelly talked about they how he's on the Perugia, and yet Perugia was also used as the password by Donovan Hawk there in the DLC for the Kasumi. Enemy, and yeah. Seem to be doing that. And it, Donovan Hawk is voiced by Cerberus, Donnelly. Can't. Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Hmm. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it included... Alright, cool, I killed them. Jeez. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. What are you doing right now, Chase? Mm -hmm. Here we are. Will do, Commander. I wonder if you could kill someone in this game by shooting them in the daddy bags. I told you he would. Well, I guess that confirms the theory. I shouldn't have anything in the personal cabin at the moment. Also, <laughs> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Have I, though? Fucking lying bitch, Kelly. <laughs> I kid. She's not a bitch. She said, Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I look, no message. Out of way, though. I was only joking. I don't actually think she's a bitch. Don't worry. I'm gonna pull up on. Uh, this is what I normally like to do first. I like to pull up on the Normandy crash site. I should make sure. I don't have any fuel whatsoever. What the fuck? I don't really like to start off with the Normandy crash site, just to get that out of the way as quickly as possible. That's something you probably should do too, Chase. Just to do the Normandy site to get it out of the way. I already I'm have. About to. Once you get fucked. Apparently. Wow. That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's 
Those tiny moons actually have only have moderate resources. I suppose I should have expected it, but still. Anomaly detected. Let's see if I can increase the power. Probe launched. All right, that ought to do it. Research projects. Palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Probe launched. I guess this is a palladium-rich planet. Launching probe. Launched. It's all I've been finding in the moment with Palladium. Hmm. Palladium and Iridium there. Okay, now we're in the good section. Your cat is very loud. Research projects. Iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and get that one too. Launching pro. Away. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Probe away. Probe launched. Big spike of iridium. Let's launch a probe to get the mission real quick, but I'm gonna continue scanning until I get everything. Sometimes you have to like go around the planets twice. There's a spike. Okay, now it's depleted. Yeah, getting resources as you're going in space probably will save you time in the long run. By the way. What yeah. it looks like me and Blue have been doing. <laughs> Suck them planets dry. <laughs> Work less, I can spend more time on the energy. Well, yeah. yeah. And yeah, the Alliance is nice to like. I mean, they don't seem like, uh. I'm, I'm trying to answer earlier comments from Rico Shave. So the Alliance is nice to like. Also, what pattern did you guys do? Like, did we have a pattern Jesse suggested pick, by Jesse, or did you just Jesse do mine. whatever? Okay. Because, like, I just put on the camo pattern. I think it looks nice in this armor. And I wasn't specified if I needed to have a specific pattern, so... I figured I'd ask real quick. Alright, so you'll get 200 experience overall for grabbing all 20 dog tags. Got it.
not placing the monument here. I know exactly where I'm gonna place that monument. Okay, what was that? No, no, no. Isn't like the effect that I did to get there, Zave. Looked like it took a bit longer than necessary. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. There's some refined element zero here, which is nice because element zero is hard to find. Ah, the Mako. If only we took that back with us. We didn't even bother bringing it along to Mass Effect Three. That's the SOS. Yeah, get up the mountain. Hmm. Thought I saw a tag. All right, whatever. Can't just jump off the sledge. Oh. Computer's gonna need to be plugged in. Let's do that real quick, Ziv. Oh, I just heard someone say headshot. Was that Morden? Nice. I think there's a mod for Mass Effect 1 and 2, unlike the PC, obviously, in Legendary Edition where you can just have infinite sprint in the first and second game, which would definitely make sense for the third game, because for whatever reason they decided to put infinite sprint there. So why not just have infinite sprint throughout the whole series? Because, like, seriously, how the fuck does Shepard get infinite sprint in the third game? Hmm. Spoke to the commander about this. I beep all these damn aliens about the Alliance's most advanced ship. I just don't trust them. It's been beep that damned Asari and a Quarian. What does Shepard think this is, a zoo? Uh, with the Quarian, it seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. I would beep babysit my child or anything, but if she has to be on board, I suppose it's not too bad. For a while now, I'm taking a look back at the past centuries in this journal. I beep how blind at the time. I came on the ship firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Beep! Shepard brought it all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I am proud to say beep die for any of the member of this crew, regardless of what world they were born on. Uh Presley. Asshole. You don't feel bad for the Mako there, Rico. That's funny. So it's just the data pad still. I'm trying to figure out what that was about. I gotta make sure I do a choice game today. I was gonna make a picture, but then, like, you... But the Mac is super console. intact down there. You can totally take it. Yeah. Is that where you put the mon new monument? No, I don't put the monument Back on the chase. Oh. Is that where you normally put the monument, is what I said. Right, where's the helmet again? There's an Inara. It was just hopped on my lap. Okay, I got 11 or 20. Why is that? Wait, what mission are you doing? Hmm. 
Mm. I forgot they were blue sun. I always thought I forgot it was the blue suns that they used on that mission. Dog tags right next to each other. Look at that. I mean, once you get Rex, doesn't I that automatically activate the next mission? It activates the colony mission? Why'd you say Rex? Not Rex, Grunt. Like, pretty sure once you get all the first, uh,. Yeah, obviously I'm going to Omega first, Rico. I'm just doing the Normandy crash ship first, because that's what I normally do. What was that? I wanted to say it was like some kind of alarm. I was assuming it was Chase, because Chase suddenly went silent. Yep. Could have been getting a call from Jesse, I suppose. How did the fight night go last night, by the way? Um, it went pretty well. Kind of what it was expected as well, with uh, Chase winning, pretty much. Gosh damn helmet is. I don't remember exactly where everything is, so I'm sorry. I was pretty sure it was over in the area by the SOS. I didn't see it though. I missed a refined element zero thing over here. Let's get that. Well, I'm gonna get Rex now. Ow. Nora. <sighs> Let's go ahead and place the monument down so it stops telling me about it. That was in the spot, anyways, that I normally put it. I'll come back. Yeah, well, were you getting cold or something? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, I think that's 19, yeah, okay. So where's 20? Yeah, I'm doing the Rex mission, um, the Grump mission now. Apparently, Eric really misses Rex. I really wish Rex came back to the squad in three. Too bad, he's kind of have to be the inspiration and leader for his people. Apparently, that means he can't stick around. up here, but I'm just going to go back up here just to make sure I didn't miss the helmet or anything up here. Which 
Chase, where's the helmet again? Do you remember where the helmet is on the Normandy crash site? On the cliffside. I guess we'll go back to that cliffside area and double check, but I was pretty sure it was... I'm also missing one dog tag. It looks like there's no more crates. So, wait. Never mind, I have all 20 dog tags now. I just need the helmet. So, here's the cockpit area. You believe it was nearby a rock or a hill? Like on top of a hill? Near a rock that's near the cockpit? Can you stop, Nara? Stop putting your claws into my pants. We need to cut your nails. I'm gonna be so pissed if I, like, decide to look it up real quick and find out that they got rid of the fucking helmet. Alright, Rico's gonna catch some rest. Thanks for stopping by, Rico. Might have found it. I found it! Good job! I forgot it's near the CIC area, not the cockpit. That's where I got confused. Oh, I got achievement. Headhunter. I forgot if there was an achievement involved for doing this mission. Maybe not. I know there's, like, slight rewards, which is just the stuff you pick up on here. Maybe some credits. Alright, well, I've done all I can. 20 dog tags recovered, my N7 hem helmet found, uh, put the tribute there right next to the Normandy's, uh, line. Logo. Logo, yeah. I... Yeah. <laughs> when he said line, I am right, meeting. Monument... Guys, a monument has been placed at the last resting place in the SSU Normandy on... Alcara and the families of all Muslim crew members have been notified of your ultimate sacrifice. Shepard's lost N7 helmet was recovered. Experience gained 200. Alliance funding 3,750. Credits found zero. So, oh, I didn't even realize the Alliance was paying me. <laughs> and 400 helmets, zero found. Well, yeah, the Alliance okay. would pay you if you think about it. You're recovering dog tags to notify the dead. Mm hmm. I just didn't immediately think that they would do that, so I was confused. What? I didn't even realize that was a bug. Oh, away. Rogue launched. 
few research projects, Element Zero is used for bioamp and omni-tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Away. I got ten probes left. Is there anything good on the Krogan planet, Chase? Probe away. Okay, no, Grunt, Grunt's mission. Oh, uh, nothing away. crazy for me then. Launching probe. Warning, burn him to death. Launching probe. Five probes left and it still says good. That's a massive Launching spike. Probe. Hello, Brandon Krogan. That's all my probes. And the planet still says good! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I wish I had kept some probes around, because that's a big spike! Maybe I'll just bother to go back just to get that big spike. Want that big spike? Away. Now it says moderate. I need to find another big spike. There we go, that's the big spike I'm looking for. Alright, now it's just depleted. Let's go back.
Right, Bender is a rich planet Walk too. Away. Get all them resources. Launching probe. Lydium rich planet too. I forget what Palladium mainly focuses on. Armor, mostly. Launching probe. Probe away. Ooh, a large spike of platinum. Spike a platinum. Launching probe. Finally, Doc and Omega. <sighs> it took what, two and a half hours? Actually, while I'm docking, I'm gonna go real quick, also get something for lunch, so sorry. Alright, gotta get to you there. Did you back to the Krogan?
seems legit. It's one heavy mech, a bunch of Krogans, and her. Okay, I got some sandwiches. I also went and uh, just used the bathroom real quick. What about you guys? Where you at? Uh, I'm still. I'm... All right. Should I save my two points, or should I put a point in the cryo blast? Your choice. I'm going down okay, rocket lane. Opinion? Should I save the two points I have currently, or put a point in a rock into cryo blast? I almost said rocket blast. Oh 
Fuck you too. It really isn't that useful in this game. I know I'd like Cryo Blast regardless. <laughs> yeah, but Cryo Blast isn't really good in two, especially on Insanity. Is the real problem. Anyways, uh, not gonna bother with weapons at the moment. Alright, let's move on. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. <laughs> I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Hmm. Shut it. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could show jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I think he got it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. <laughs> That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Fido Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfel Ashland refinery. Oh my god, these blue suns! There's like endless labor. of them! The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the How way. How are the so blue suns still functioning in three? The amount of bodies you made. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. You can ask the same I'll question for Blood Pack and Eclipse, really. Yeah, but it feels like you kill the Blue Sun way more than all the other ones. <laughs> like, you even kill the leader of the Blue Suns at one point. Potentially. So, I guess he does still die regardless, so... Right, it's this way. Uh. 
Ranger. Finally, I get to see over here. Holy shit! It goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person, but you can't breathe a word of it to Harrod. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Hmm. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut it, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Herrick for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. Mm -hmm. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. I should have more than enough money for that. This is valuable. How the fuck did he manage to get a hold of the freaking Matic, though? It's a mercenary gun. Mainly a soldier's weapon, though. Understand, or you don't want to. Does it really matter? No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. <laughs> That's later. I might have something here for you. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't mm -hmm. find a better selection anywhere, unless you're willing to risk the black market. <laughs> I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can, but don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. You got it. Buy it, everything you have. I haven't gotten fish yet, though. I think you can understand. Excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Why do you have a fucking floating cigarette in your mouth? It. Or a cigar in your mouth? Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let well, I can get the fight chick and I um, her now, life. Jace. What are you doing right now? With barely contained terror. You drive a hard bargain, human. You know what? I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. 
to show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are I don't know how long I'm going to be able to fight her. Station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Oh yeah, we'll do that. This is valuable. There we go. How many credits do I have left after all that? Let's look. 798,009 credits. Oh yeah, I still got plenty. station in no time. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way. But I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Here you go. 1,000 credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. I hope you still had enough money to, like, pay for food and shit when he's traveling. Shut up, shit. Alright, she's dead. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Oh, uh, wait, in. what? I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other oh. race out there. We're not taking okay. chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. You know the mech? So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? The big one that you're having Finally, trouble with? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, it's not moving. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. It's just stuck, Anybody staring at the tank. Anybody in the zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. Oh, there goes the shield. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. Are you, you going to wake up yet, Mac? No. The quarantine zone. There's a Solarian well, named Well, there goes the Starmer now, Chase. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The blue son told okay, you when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. Nope, it the just sit there and let down. me murder it. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone. And looking like it since I killed your cure nice and fast, I only Take had to deal with three Krogan. Look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh You do know that, right? If you kill right. um Jukir no, fast looters, enough, um anybody it gets stops the Krogan's I'll going off. Too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a I bitch. didn't get anywhere near her. I just blasted her from a distance. Launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. I mean, I'll, I'll be, I'll be honest. I was shooting at her, and I was like, "All right, so the mech is where? Come on, mech, shoot me! I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting." And she's dead. Where well, is the mech? I killed all the Krogans and then where's the mech? I look and see the mech just staring at a Krogan tank. 
Yeah, that boss fight has done another glitch before. I've actually gotten a Krogan stuck in the pod, and it was like just, just you know standing there, and I'm like, where the fuck is it? Why yes, the, fight the ended? mech. The mech is the key difficult part about that fight, right, Chase? Yeah, it is. It being stuck and doing nothing while it let me shoot at it is what makes Chase goes, "You fucking kidding me?" Am I correct, Chase? What? <laughs> nah, I'm not doing that mission over again. Especially that it would be a pain as if I did. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure Launcher needs to be switched over, and I asked Safe to do it a million times, and he hasn't bothered. So I'm gonna have to double check that real quick and take care of my plate, anyways, because I'm done with my sandwiches. How well is that gonna go, buddy? Oh. Uh, I would have brought Miranda and Morden because Morden has incinerate, incinerate, and Miranda has warp. All right, let's see if I can upgrade some shit. Well, actually, let's go and wake up the Krogan. But yeah, um, that Krogan mission was easy, Chase. <laughs> I'm just making show fun. But I still can't believe it got stuck. I think it got stuck. It would I think what would have happened is it would have unstuck if the fourth Krogan pod opened, which it never did because I killed her before that could happen. What? Well, yeah, I was about to say, you can't get headshot to the Prometheans, though, I don't think. Um, the particle beam would actually... Uh, if you're asking me, I think the beam would be super useful. It's still a very useful, super, very targeting. It's probably the best to use against the Reaper, the end game Reaper in general. You know what I mean? I gotta make sure I keep an ear out. I had to actually put laundry straight into the washer because they've never bothered to do that like I asked. He's just been ignoring me this whole I'll time. I'll be right back as well. Okay. 
Can't change pistol or SMG yet. Alright, so since I can't do gun rants about these in the next game, let's do it real quick. M100 Grenade Launcher. Rapid fire grenade launcher favored by Blood Pack Fortune Mercenaries, capable of taking down multiple enemies with a single well placed shot. Effective against armor, shields, and biotic barriers. It is also very effective on insanity difficulty against the freaking uh <coughs> gunship of the gear I mean, of the um, Archangel recruitment mission, so. It's a really good weapon. It's just you can automatically replace it with better. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> the arc projector ionizes targets with a non-visible laser to ready them for a high voltage electrical attack. As the lightning-like bolt hits its first target, a sophisticated auto-targeting system paints succeeding targets with the ionization laser, allowing the electricity to take the paths of least resistance and arc between them. An entire enemy strike team can be shocked to death with a few pulls of the trigger. It is a very good weapon, and surprisingly, it's good against armor too, Chase. Which, yeah, was really... I used that weapon quite a lot, actually, during normal playthroughs. And the M490 Blackstorm Singularity Projector. Blackstorm, colloquially called the black hole gun, encases particles of matter within a high-powered mass increase in field, elevating them to near-infinite mass. This creates a gravitational singularity that draws nearby enemies and objects inward for a short time. The rapidly increasing gravity near the singularity's event horizon rips the objects apart. The mass effect field soon destabilizes and returns to normal mass with explosive results. <laughs> Yeah, this one was awesome. It's probably not going to be as useful to immediately use on Insanity difficulty, however, because everyone is armored and shielded and barriered, so you have to strip those down first in order to effectively catch them in the Singularity. Trevor tried using this, actually, against a few of the bosses, and I'm like, what are you doing? It acts like the Singularity, except with explosive results. What are you doing? Well, actually, it also, Use another weapon. It actually over time while it's around stuff as well. Yeah, of course. So it's not but, like, it's not that effective to use against, like, say, the Geth uh, Colossus like he did. Probably not. At that point, it would have been more effective to bring along, like, the Grenade Launcher at that point. Using the Black Storm against the Geth Colossus? Not exactly a great idea. It didn't work out for Trevor too well. Fine element zero. Jacob, in my way. <laughs> Don't shoot, they're clear to come in. It's funny, they're popping up and I know like don't shoot, but they're clearly pointing their guns at us. Where Oh, right at the medical station. <laughs> Put your glasses on, nothing will Good luck be in there. wrong. Blue suns and Orcha shooting anything that moves. Yes, because blue suns are apparently very active here on Omega. They're Phoenix. And we're got through all. Corpses. Must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. <laughs> Alrighty. This hacking minigame. <laughs> this will give you three chances. If you do the uh, one hacking minigame with like the freaking safes that are on the walls, and you pretty much, yeah, the bypassing, you pretty much fail it automatically if you end up, uh, 
across in the wrong streams. <coughs> yeah, but if you're not careful, you could accidentally like, go over the one you want to click on and click on another one, and it can fuck things up. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. I just heard coughing, but everyone here is clearly dead. What's going on? Oh, um, the ambient noise has coughing all, all over. That's what you're probably hearing. You're probably hearing ambient noise coughing. Almost done with the mission? Before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> Your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Borcha. I need to find Morton Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you. <coughs> I hope. <coughs> Damn, it. Damn you. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Uh, uh, oh, you... you help me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Forcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Forcha are immune to disease. <coughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <coughs> Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it. But all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morton Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering. <laughs> <them> <laughs> Only you would think of that, Jace. I was afraid to go to. Real question is, why doesn't the collector say Caden? But perhaps he can help. I guess they just got lucky. What makes Morton worse? Than He's the first. The, the blue sun. He was one of the first. Press him for protection money. 
kill them, stun them with some kind of toxin, then gun them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a weapon. <laughs> When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. Stupid. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, you. Here's the justification of if someone gets it, then why didn't they get harvested almost immediately? Then, in that case, because but you can have your entire crew harvested, but if they survive still, why are they left last? And your crew got harvested first. I mean, Mass Effect 2 is one of those weird, contradictive games. On the one hand, it's probably the best game in the whole trilogy, but on the other hand, it also did a lot of stuff that made Mass Effect 3 much more difficult to get through. Now it won't open. Yeah, they were actually going to push the uh, release date from March 6th to September 3rd if they had done that then maybe we wouldn't have had as strong of a reaction towards it as we did. Mm. Yeah, I'm willing to agree with that. I wonder what she would have done then if she actually was meant to be on the Normandy. Yeah, but you said important. Not what would be the important yet. thing that would make her? I meant outside of them, because every member of the squad that joins usually has a something surrounding them. Is what I'm saying. They didn't give a fuck. All right, I should be aiming if I want to use overload. I'm just clear. Aw, why are you? Why are you abusing Pikachu like that? She does. Go, Pikachu, distract them. Alright, come on, collectors, let's fight. By fight, I mean, let me throw a warp at you in the wall fights to get rid of all your barriers. I've got him! God damn it! I used the overload on myself. I actually think I did, but the thing is, I did overload, but I didn't aim at it, so it just did it, and I lost my shield, so I was like, I did overload on myself. Oh, come on, Incinerate, I know you can do it. I did it earlier with you. There we go. Man, a tech armor is very useful in this thing game when it's at any... It's a, it's a good one. Holy Shows crap, I managed to pull a headshot with this? Shuriken the whole time. Some more credits. Out of the uh, four slash five, if you want to count against shield strength, uh, you know, covering protection stuff, 
that's offered. Fortification is supposedly the worst, though. I can believe that. I want to say tech art. Tech armor is probably one of the yeah. best because it also doesn't only give you boosts, but it also powers up your powers. Funny how I'd be complaining about uh, looters, and yet I'm looting everyone's Ever credits. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. <laughs> Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking Ooh, over the territory. Ooh, she even scholar. Okay. Uh... Man, husking uh, armor is annoyingly dumb. Right after the district was quarantined, Vorcha yeah. are immune to diseases, not so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. All right, Unless cool. they see you first. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. Here we go after again. Everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started yeah. dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control, and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now, trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure, a doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down, just like that, pop, pop, pop. Didn't pop, even pop. use his mechs. <laughs> then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking I really hate the that shields that the might offer collectors sanctuary. have. Cowering in this apartment might keep you alive for a while, but if the mercs don't get yeah, you, yeah, the things well. they pop up. Easy for you to say. You're a soldier armed to the teeth. We're just ordinary people. Oh, really? You're making it out like we're cowards or something. Interesting. A coward accepts death instead of fighting to stay alive. If you want to survive, you're going to have to earn it. I'm taking out every Vorchim Blue Suns group I find along the way to Morton's clinic. But I can't hold your hand while I'm waging war in the streets. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess if you can clear a path, we can follow. Like you said, it's our only chance. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. <laughs> All right, let's get moving.
This looks interesting. Nice. I've got myself an assault rifle damage thing. Everything I need to get chased for me though, because I can use everything. You do the work. Jacob just tried jumping over a ledge and died. Ow, where am I taking that fire from? Over there. Yeah, it was off to the side somewhere. I didn't see the target. Crap, there's a Krogan. Well, that Harbinger, you picked the worst person to possess. Mm. I'll be really fair with you. you, you, you he possessed. He possessed. Fifty the enemy's mass of one, two, or three. We've been spotted! Oh, right, I had to use two minutes just to get both of these guys
I'm just gonna keep spamming the incinerate for a moment. Gravity's one me. That should have been a headshot. Here we go. I haven't got this to that part yet. Got a charger. Oh, by the way, I wouldn't have this finish, but clearly, you know why I said the worst person I've ever been possessed was right then and there? You remember the laser dude that does do shields? The, um, I think so. Yeah, for the collectors? Yeah, he walked up and immediately got possessed, so he didn't use his laser ever. I know. The motherfucker got himself armor back. Like I said, he, he possessed the worst possible person Asshole. to possess right then and there, and I'm okay with that. I think I'm about to hit the Scions. I'm going to the garage right now. Motherfucking Jesse Eisenberg. Hey, 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 back off. We got here first. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from How much damage do you have left? That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like How much damage do you have anything. left? We're just showing a little oh, that's entrepreneurial not good. spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You gonna shoot us? I've killed people for less. Uh, I don't think he's kidding, man. Whoa, hold on a minute. Nobody needs okay, to shoot chased. nobody. We're stopping, okay? We just wanted to make a quick buck. It ain't worth getting killed over. We're done. Seriously, I swear. <laughs> Do you know a Solarian named Morton Solis? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. What do you know about the Vorcha? The blue suns used to keep them down. But with all the sons getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I eh, don't know who's gonna come out oh, on cool. top. Like my activity. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. <laughs> Man, you know to the top souls. of his lungs. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish them off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see them go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while, get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. I would hope so. But you don't you just have to fight the Praetorian, though? You just let him take whatever victory he can get, Eric. I, I was just wondering, because I I don't remember the Praetorian had a, additional enemies with it, did it? Uh-oh. That's why I was asking. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Where the fuck did you fucks come from? Taking heavy fire! 
Crap. Not dead, but that was close. This harbinger never takes cover. Territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Between their eyes. It doesn't. I'm, I'm actually being 100% legit with you, Chase. Between it. No funny business once you're in the clinic. Let's Honestly, if you want to know what a headshot on... Oh, wow. The, Pressing back does still... Uh, put away on a collector right. is, no. um, it is basically a forehead check. More it's basically shooting more them more in the forehead, so you. that's Maybe where you would have to aim for. Sorry, too busy to oh, I got you. Got you. It's the same thing with the Krogans. You only really get a headshot if you hit more them in the plate in their head. I owe him everything. Mm -hmm. Professor, we're running low on some toxic... Well, I get almost as good. Cause actually, technically, I should say you have to aim just below the plate where its face is. That tiny little gap. Weird. You're really this how it works. Maybe they took. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong or remembering it wrong. I know, but I need to make sure I have all the stuff I need, Morden, before we go and fight the collector's horde that Chase is dealing with. I almost thought you were trying to say guts. Th uh, thanks, Commander. I love you too. I'm glad you remember my name so fondly. Like, were you trying to say guts? Because more like it. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Well armed to be refugees, no mercenary uniform, quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha, crew to clean them out, unlikely. Vorcha, a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by Oh yeah, well that's not that bad because that means it's never been covered. I came here to find you, okay? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm on a critical it, mission. It sounds like the mass, mass Effect mission. online. Mission. No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Just once, I'd like to ask someone for help and hear them say, Sure, let's go. Right now. No strings attached. Life is a negotiation. We all want. We all give to get what we want. What the hell was that? Forja have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take play cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks may come in handy against Forja. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Forja territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. Jeez, Scions, chill the fuck out. If buddies. I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Hmm. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you... Oh, I'm Purposes glad I have tech armor. Jeez, that could have been way worse. Harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variants. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? 
Possible goal of virus, testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Alright, cool. That's all the husks. Now for the Scions. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing no. major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Let's mm -hmm. head for the environmental plant. One down. All right. Okay, uh, Morden, your line did not pop up. What the fuck? On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Oh, there was that. Uh, yeah, we took care of them. We put them on the straight and narrow. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Oh, I was gonna go somewhere else to cause trouble, so yeah. Whatever you say, lady. Trouble coming! <laughs> yeah, that's up. Oh my god! Jake. Why did I use overload? Question, um, when you did hit with one of those shock plates by the Scions, does it take all your shields away? Alright, so the tech armor the tech armor makes it so it can be halved. That was a rare achievement. Because it's not playing as classic as you used to see an area attacks enough. Possibly. It's also a brand new game, so maybe not many people have played it yet. Technically, it's a re-release of an old game. True, but the achievements are based on the new game, on this game. No, the achievements are still based on the old game as well. I mean, you don't get them from the old game by playing the new game, obviously. That's what I mean. Really I, I got that. That's why people say, if I don't buy the new game, it doesn't matter. And I already got all these. Okay, there you go. There you go, Miranda. Do exactly what I wanted you to do. Coming our way! Achievements. I was asking. Krogan's attacking me! Run away! Oh no. That, that I've got him! What's going on, Chase? Yeah, I was having the same issue just poison. The benefit is I have tech armor, so once I get a great shield, they all got knocked on their asses. <laughs> I'm gonna get merciless soon, too. The Husk crashed your game! Wow, Husks are more dangerous than they than they used to be, huh, Chase? They can crash games. Make her do overload. I don't know, why did you? Some bullshit. Got a charger. Jacob, lift him up. Why do I have to have There we go. Didn't they want you to just tell me the pass codes so I can just open up, uh, activate them? Did he? It should. That only makes sense, right? Now let's finish you off. Compromise. 
Go, Pikachu. Distract them. Are you still up? Oh, you're still I'm fighting. Up. I'm, I just caught up with you. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. How did you forget? It was like a minute ago. I'm busy trying to think of how I'm going to deal with what Chase had to go with. He is right next to you. Alright, let him die on his own. He should have died on his own. Okay, well now he's dead. Okay, you're being annoying. Story of our lives, right? What was that? Story of our lives, right? Oh, no, Harvard is just being a little bit of a dick bag right now. It's not getting any closer, it just keeps trying to knock me out of cover. Nice. Performed a headshot. Wow. Well, isn't the black ball of death supposed to just knock you out of cover? It doesn't really hurt, does it? Gosh damn it. I hate it when he does that. Mommy Shepherd. You know, Harbinger. Okay. That's progression. I want to go to this story. Gosh damn it. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No. Those vials contain the cure. You said Please, that already. You have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we'll kill your friend. I don't even know this guy. You're bluffing. Drop your weapons, or he dies. I know you're scared of the Vorcha. The plague. But this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing mm -hmm. existed. Of course it exists. Stupid Thank you. Bitches. I thought they were gonna, gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Uh, thanks again. I owe you... Well... Everything.
He's in the right, Morden. Up front! Yeah. I got him. What happened? Not to get a particular upgrade. I want Jess's food. Has Jess been stolen? Right back! Oh. You're gonna fire missiles, I'll fire. Oh, nice! I think I exploded something right next to me. This will put them down. Well, at least that thing still works with the hostiles. Praetorian. I didn't realize you were talking about the Praetorian. That's a fucking... What are you doing here? Now let's finish you off. Okay, achievement unlocked. Merciless. If 20 enemies scream as they fall or set on fire. Have a nice trip. 
gonna try to come up the stairs. Yeah, I thought that other guy was still alive. How are you? How are you doing with your Praetorian fighter tanks? Go, Pikachu. Okay, I thought I had everyone. No, I didn't. Nine, nine. Where the fuck did you come from? Well, clearly I didn't die, sir. There's the thumb. Still don't have full uh carnifax ammo. Bear. I'm sorry, Chase. Wait. We're close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in, then hit the fans. I think I only... The fight was only here for me because I was mostly drawn by Otter to get at it. Huh? We shut down machines! Break fans! Everyone choke and die! What is your still biotic? I've had enough of this. <sighs> oh, you did this. Want play. <laughs> you you did this like the Brick Miranda. Turn on machines. Put kill. He brought Garrison there. Grunt. All right. We'll kill you first. Oh, oh yeah, man. I, I always know. bring more. <laughs> well, stop waiting. Stop waiting. Stop. To the barriers to pop up, it does massive damage. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Found that one. Get in cover. Oh, that was close. You are. are you? Are, wait, aren't you going to use the? Don't you use the laser in on the armor? Because that's just a better choice to use it. Praetorian laser. The central control system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. Like the laser is really good for armor. Reinitialize the systems there. This is the last fight. Oh. Once we get the going, we should be good. All right, whatever. Sorry now. I have located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room you're in now. Get over here. Mm. Yeah. 
Oh gosh, damn it! I took a rocket to the face. I'm still be alive. What are you doing? Getting in my face? So wait, does that mean you have to fight all the collectors again before fighting the Praetorian, or just the Praetorian fight when you die? Jacob, tell this guy to fly real quick. Don't do that! Chase, don't do that because you're gonna have to fight the Praetorian again. Like I said, the best the best people to bring on that mission in Nicole will be Morden and Miranda. They have the most the most outfits against it. Miranda with warp. <sighs> Morty is like the best person to bring. And <laughs> is it squad incendiary ammo or just regular incendiary ammo and grunt? <clears throat> Firing now. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, well, yeah, he was guaranteed to die. Oh, gosh, damn. Oh, come on! You okay there? Where did you even come from? I got burned. Where did you even come from? He was standing right there before you, you shot at him. Here. We shut no, down he machines. wasn't. Break I saw him. Yeah, he's really appeared right there randomly. Die. Then I gotta do all this shit again. Welcome to Insanity. <laughs> I've had enough of this. Dude, I've played through Insanity. Want play. Okay, I am more than aware of some of the bullshit doctor. that goes on, but still. On I mean, Chase, would you like to go over your bullshit event that happened just now? Charge him up! There we go. Head hunter, 25 out of 30. The central control system in an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Cure's locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Hey. Hey, Jacob. Congratulations, Chase, you leveled up. And you killed the Praetorian! Yeah, that time you sound like you're trying to say Praetorian. Praetorian. Why did 
just used overload again. I mean, it worked, but still. Um, overload. He used overload on a pyro Forcha with the uh, that uses like the flame source. I used it on a heavy, Eric. Uh, okay. Is in a, like a missile firing guy, which made zero sense. Okay, I'm just making sure you know about um, what you call it. How should we be able to mess around with flamethrowers? <clears throat> yeah, that I got. Yeah, that's what I was like, you know, if the flamethrowers are getting you to shoot, it's that. Crap. Crap. Alright. Doesn't matter if you take cover with a flamethrower, as soon as they're close to you, they're getting you. Ah, you know everyone! Watch out! Here he goes! Oh shit, I, I looked at my messages to look at the messages and I think I might have accidentally activated a thing where you played a shepherd by yourself fighting the, uh, the Batarian thing. Yeah, uh, after Horizon, as soon as you use the message, Terminal, you automatically get the custom for arrival. Does it automatically start arrival? I went and used warp. I could have done your tip there and used a pull him. Did you hear me? Ow, my face. Do I automatically get dragged uh, into arrival or? No, you don't. Okay, thank God. I just punched a freaking fortune in the face. The central control system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Cure's locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Why is Miranda using the pistol? What's that? Miranda's randomly using the counter box, they didn't tell her to use it. Um, the Moran, Moran, everyone usually defaults to their strongest gun, which usually if you have the card effects on any of the, if you have the card effects, they automatically start with it on every mission. Alright, cool. Jacob's still using the, oh wait, never mind, Jacob, his unit is in the card effects, I just noticed. Go <laughs> oh, you. Yeah! All right, cool. Ah! Uh, I got worried. I thought I was gonna get pulled into a mission where I had to play a shepherd by myself. Nope. You just get the cutscene. I gotta do it right before the collector base. I always do arrival after the collector base. There we go, got rid of the boom squad. Miranda is not bothered to get her ass back up. Should probably do that. I'm trying to get rid of the pyros first and foremost, just because of how fucking annoying they are. Oh, okay, looks like Jacob got it. Yeah, that's right. Get some good stress blues there, Chase. Eat the fish. Good stress release. Alright, time to talk to Jacob about his personal mission. One down, one to go. So I can get barriers, right, Chase? Can't save right now. I gotta ever use that manifestation right here. Sorry, I have the uh, whole meta jump. Firing now. Ah. 
what is it? It's level 30 in this game. Yeah, I thought it was level 30. And then in uh, Mass Effect 3 to go back to level 60. Stop your bullshit. Yeah. Alright, give me something else to shoot at for a moment. Horizon Blue? I can't remember. Maybe. There's a quest that I normally tend to see after uh, Horizon, which is uh, you talk to the Solarian that's nearby Afterlife and pick up some packages for him on the Citadel and Illion. He's just there to be there. Shit! Blue is alive, but Blue's almost got hit by a rocket. Who's having fun with more intermission chase? Ooh, that was close. Octopodidus. <laughs> Mumph. 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 I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just making sure my hearing's good. The rocket keeps like he keeps. The, uh, he keeps having a rocket blast right next to him, right at his wall, protection wall here, because they keep aiming for him. That's why I'm trying to make sure I can hear myself. <laughs> like, have you uh, not no. seen Archer Chase? Let's not do that. <laughs> hey, stop lighting Miranda on fire. Was too close. My shields are there. a real man's weapon. Oh, okay, that Krogan's right next to me. I think it was an autosave when I got that first fan, so son of a bitch. Mwah. Shut up! Asshole! <laughs> there was no autosave, fuck this. You have a you okay this little? I'm fine. Perfect. I'm wait. That one hit! I did not need to use a bullet there. Hey, I see you have uh, hey given zero shit to what the portrait have to say anymore. Yeah, there's no point in seeing that cutscene a million times! Night, night. Don't you dare regenerate your health! But that's the fortune's big thing! Regenerating health! Shepard, I've scanned the room. Everyone the in the blood pack does that. Fortra, Krogan... The back wall. The Krogan's not doing as good as the fortune, I think the only though. one that does it is the Varen. <laughs> Regenerate health. I at least I the Porsche in. does. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Right, I was dying. Found that one. I have located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room you're in now.
should I bring on Jacob's loyalty mission is the real question. I mean, rule wise, I just kind of prefer to bring along Kasumi since she throws for Jacob just as much as anyone else. But if it's also, <laughs> but, kid, if, but, still. but if it's lore wise, then Miranda's the better choice than over Kasumi. Yeah. Why did I press that? Month. I hear the fucking explosion. Jet blue, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, blue? I just noticed. What? I thought you were somewhere else. Did you do know if you run into the area, like the, the runway below there? You know, the tunnels, the, the hallway you have to go through? They can't shoot the rockets at you. Yeah, but even... No, actually, some of them have been... Well, some of the people on top, anyways, that have rocket launchers have definitely been trying to fire at me. They do, but they can't, hit, they can't hit you because the walls block you because there's a ceiling above you, too. You're, like, protected for the most part, like, by everything. They don't fire rockets while you're down there. Chase, how much time do you have left Miranda. before you have to get off, by the way? I didn't even look at the clock. Okay, I want to make sure you didn't miss whatever you needed to do. After this, I should check on the laundry and make sure it's done in the washer, I mean. But you have to deal with fortune, Luke. I know. That's why I said after this! Why don't you listen? Sorry, I didn't hear the after part. That's all. I mean, you could always pause it and do it real quick, too. I could, yeah. But, like, I'm to just this off at this point. Because these guys are fucking annoying. One down, one to go. Let's move. <laughs> Okay, maybe I should have waited a few seconds before using the second station. Uh oh, what's going on? I got him. Got him. There we I almost go. said no you don't, Jacob, and I realized that yeah, he actually did have that. fucking thermal clips do you have, Jacob? I know technically you can have internet, but still. Krogan on its way. Got all of his uh, shields. Oh, you missed there, Jacob. Can't hide from me. I'm not hiding. I'm letting my shields generate. Says the coward. I'm joking. I think you were trying to do your Korean accent there. My Korean accent. Uh that's not my Korean accent. Sounded like you were trying to do your Korean accent. That's all I'm saying. No, that's not my Korean accent. This is not what my Korean accent is. I said, like a coward. You gotta stop that right now. <laughs> actually, you know what I'm going to actually do? Actually, no, I should do, I should do Jacob's first. So I can get the... Power. I mean, 
barrier. Is that your selected power? I forget. I did say power. The power. But I'm also Who are those rocket guys shooting at now? They're trying to hit you, but they can't. Like, they physically can't Oh, wait, hit Jacob's you. still alive. I thought he was dead. Oh, Lord. Jacob, stay alive long enough to help me out. Well, let's got this guy's armor off him. Moving on its way. Element zero. Yeah, I thought that was kind of still. There we go. Pyro's dead. Wow, Jacob, you are a fucking trooper. Gotta hurt. He's still alive. He's been getting bombarded by rockets this whole time. He's still kicking. You can't hear me. No, wrong place to take cover in sanity. Where the fuck did you come from? Oh, wait. Were you still the same guy? I don't think you were. There we go. <sighs> I got both fans. I detected something on one of the planets to predict them, so let's check it out. Improving, Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they go. I was tempted for a minute, but in the end, you? I didn't deserve to die. And you. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid. I have no idea what this planet's all about. Oh, look! Blue Sun! It's like I murdered enough of those already, right? We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Why are cigarettes yes. the one thing that every species seems to love from humanity? Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the uh, blue. I think there's a reason to stay aside. Hey, the blue, blue. And people. Hey, blue. Question. Mm. What was that one race of welcome to cigar? We you said like literally not. No more than five minutes ago? It's not five minutes ago though, Eric. That I know, was it was a joke. A joke! Alright. Recruited Dr. Morden Solis for the team. Examination of Omega Plague Cure confirms Dr. Solis' expertise. Can also use work in Omega as leverage against Arya if necessary. Got the Carnifex, got the Soul Rift damage upgrade, got my Metagel upgrade. Uh, Cerberus funding 25,000, credits found 19,000, total credits earned 44,000. Holy crap. Element Zero found 1,000, Palladium found 2,000, Platinum found 2,000, Iridium found 2,000. Found a lot. Got an achievement. The Professor. Successfully recruited the Professor. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. 
Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. Hmm, you're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. <laughs> but this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abduction. Lithium is probably the most common thing you'll find. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. Effects not simultaneous. Intriguing. Fascinating. No distress calls, no signs of resistance, new technology, marvelously advanced. But what? I say you should just try getting supplies and getting everything ready, here, build up all the loyal commissions and start working on that while also like deciding to, to go to people. I would say try doing all planets and build yes, up your course, supplies, you know? We're going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please... I bet, like, also the, mission, the minor missions on every no, system, literally in each system. Emotional inflections, could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask, is that an AI? Nearly every system. You scan a planet? This ship like, I know for a fact, in Omega, every AI single sector except for one members. had a side mission. More desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. So yeah, so all, have, you got to find them. and stop them. Yes, there are a lot. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to Most are minor, but they're very short. Need samples. Which way to the lab? And it's just Probably better. So you get more supplies than other goodies. Research unlocked Inferno armor. Research unlocked ML seventy seven missile launcher. Research unlocked assault rifle damage. Research unlocked Cerberus assault armor. Research unlocked. M22 Eviscerator Shotgun. Research unlocked. Collector Chitin Armor. Research unlocked. Collector Assault Rifle. Research unlocked. Heavy Weapon Ammo. Research unlocked. Metagel Capacity. Are they done? Oh, as soon as I got out of cover, one popped up. Hmm. <laughs> Are you quite done, blue sun asses? Fight me. I, I really, I really don't like. The, like, I really feel like the blue sun should not exist after Mass Effect Two. Oh, but Chase, Chase, I should let you know, just double check some moderates, because there have been some moderates I found out, have Ezo. And Ezo's rare. Well, that's rare. very ironic, Mr. Sakamoto. Mm. Landing right next to your old teammates or whatever. Definitely people you recognize, though. Minor, so they're not super crazy. I some of them are interesting how the the planet looks, you know. Mm-hmm.
Apparently animals do not like Noel. Black Clover? Yeah, Noel from Black Clover. Like I was I was couldn't figure out if you're talking about Black Clover or Ruby for some reason. Yeah, that seems weird. Alright, I'm gonna just double check in the washer real quick. Be right back. I didn't have it what? Also, Chase, doing all those little missions, mo more than most of them, usually have Visa on them. Just as little, little boxes. And some lead to better um, supplies. And oh, hello. Oh, this one should makes you have the flashback with the, pro um, the Protheans. I'm not too sure. going on with the sniper rifle? Yeah. Achievement. Full power. Okay, let's go make some upgrades and then we'll uh, talk to squad mates. Okay, got an achievement. Scientist. Lead any research project in Normandy's lab. Do I not have enough platinum? No, I have enough platinum. Why can't I make it then? Oh, it requires one more sniper rifle damage to unlock. Got it. Right, so do you do that? I don't remember them always despawning immediately when the fight's over. I didn't know that was a thing. <clears throat> uh oh. I believe so. I believe it works for all the guns. It's usually a bigger clip. <clears throat> I should have gotten the missile launcher first. I accidentally clicked on the avalanche first. Mm. 
Got a lot of notifications there. I hear somebody is enjoying some chips. Yeah, I'm opening up my box of Cheez-Its. Not sponsored, by the way. There no. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Hmm. Apparently, it's plus 20% tech power damage. Chase, apparently the planet Jacob wants you to go to does have ESO deposits on it. <laughs> like mining ESO. Yeah. It's also considered okay. a rich planet. You got a minute to talk. Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. All right, Must time to get Jacob's loyalty mission done so I can get barriers. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralized... Is there anything useful on this arrived. mission with Jacob? Mobile like, for Council Spectres upgrades or something? I can't remember group. if they are. Very similar. There's normally an upgrade on every mission. Similar so. in what way? Solarians lack okay knowledge, there, buddy? strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom, Spectre similar. Given goal, told to accomplish. Better. Funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? <laughs> Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. <laughs> Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, Need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about Ooh. Genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Doesn't exactly seem to have worked out too nice well, though. Nice talking I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Mm-hmm. Alright, let me close up my box. I've had enough cheese its for now. <laughs> Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. 
It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. <laughs> it's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. <laughs> yes! I got enough Palladium! Now I got the Solaris armor. <laughs> Got my grenade launcher and I got the avalanche. Surprised they don't show any of the DLC related weapons on the table. Then again, no, actually, I'm not surprised. Pardon. Commander. Oh, nothing to say. I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, that doesn't change anything. It's still watching. <laughs> like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yeah, and then The Walking Dead made that a trend and everyone started using it. You only have your facial scars. Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring, and the old adage of mind is true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. I've updated plans to the new medical equipment to your research terminal and the tech lab sincerely chalk was. Kind of a waste. All right, Hackett sent a message. Commander, Shepard, the Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site, and we sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you have provided peace of mind for a lot of people, Commander. I thank you on their behalf. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I just used I just used a terminal, Kelly. Warden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Refer to him as a hamster on coffee. I'm gonna reset That'll my be all. TV's audio. I'll be here if you need anything. It's annoying me. Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, yeah, take a look. Let's see if I can do any of them. Nope, can't do advanced mineral scanner yet. Normandy mineral scanner upgrade. Android, I mean, the, yeah, Android groups, proprietary Argus planet scan technology has been integrated into the ship systems. It's great with speed up scanner process. Can't do that yet, gotta get more iridium.
Gotta get more iridium for Whenever a lot of things. Whenever you have the time Damn. and resources, let me know. You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Mm-hmm. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. Hmm. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. <sighs> what can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions that feel something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision. So what are you doing, Chase, right now? It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Hmm? Hmm. What level Chase? of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack the confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. <laughs> okay. Freaking Rico came back and decided to say, What's cooking, good looking? Yeah, Thanks I'm still going, obviously. Linda. I'll talk to you later. And if you had been of here like 20 Linda, minutes earlier, you would have seen me trying to roast some Vorcha. <sighs> I mean, it looks weird, but the thing is, it's more protective than her normal suit. I might put her back in a normal suit, though, for a loyalty mission. Her armor. Yeah, her Cerberus armor she wears. I don't know. Freaking, uh, Rico just finds it looking weird. The new officer. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings. I just interrupted, uh... We only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. That's fine, we roll. Gotta get stuff ready. Actually, that sounds interesting. Once this is done, fantastic. We... I'll get the cards. Yeah, once this is done, me and Blue can just end stream, right, Blue? You know, beating your superior officer yeah. at poker would be a bad career move. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. On 500 credits playing skilling five. Nice playing, Commander. Shepard's teasing really threw you off. You mean that pulling rank shit wasn't serious? Oh man, I can't believe I fell for that. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> So you like in the middle of a mission, Eric? Jacob's loyalty mission. Right. Just gonna walk slowly. Is this Bob some cool guy? I haven't even started a mission yet, so I, should I just end the stream or do the Archangel recruitment mission? Your choice, Blue. All right. Only because of the fact that I still am. Uh, behind you guys. I'll just quickly do the Archangel recruitment mission. I don't think it'll take too long. Or at least I hope so. Since I haven't brought them along, I'm bringing along Morden and Saeed. Press B. I don't know why I pressed A. Hmm. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely. Oh, I didn't bother messing around with my armor. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Excellent. Knew he could do it. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. I forgot to mess with my armor because I was gonna. I'm gonna have a uh, new armor piece, so I was gonna change into those. Come on, let me in. Are you expecting me? Go on in. Oh. Are you expecting me? If she were expecting me. What are you looking at? The man whose day I'm about to ruin. Oh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. How the fuck did I have to get a freaking Avenger in here? enough mm. stand still if you're looking for weapons you're not doing a very good job can't be too careful with dead specters that could be anyone wearing your face I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions they're clean Depends on the questions. You run, Omega? <laughs> <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. 
I'm the boss CEO queen if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Uh-huh. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. <laughs> So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble for Oh him. my god, I they activated my tech armor. Hey, did it I mean, activated it? They killed the deal and then all my health disappeared in one second. Even though I hit the activation button and my hours are on cooldown. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at the whole you'll galaxy's never major players. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. Sounds like I don't have much time to waste. You've got all the mm -hmm. time in the world. Archangel? Not so much. <laughs> so apparently Rico thinks that the suit looks weird mostly because of the visor. Step inside. You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns, Eclipse, or the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Oh my goodness, this is stupid. This is what I have to deal with right now. Yeah, These stupid drones. It's the drones. They keep knocking me out of cover. And because they knock me out of cover, I instantly get melted by the freaking heavy man. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The Mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we've dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. 
Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Sesame. Come on, let me in. Are you expecting me? Oh. Jesus. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Ugh. Finally got, got dealt with. That was unnecessarily more annoying than it should have been. Huh. Keep doing too many. Time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much. But you look <laughs> like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. <laughs> so the bridge is the only way to his hideout. Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. <laughs> Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. 
In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Yeah, probably a good idea. Taking the time during the that seems to catch up on notifications. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Get Whoa! I never get the renegade for Jacob's mission. That's really dark. Them yeah. Them. yeah. Make you kill your own father, damn. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration. Have your father pull the gun on himself. Do you need something? It's not for you, you Dad. Out by yourself. I, I, I also terrorist. like the touch that they actually show the gun barrel stick need? out and it touches his forehead. So the infiltration team is the main focus of mm -hmm. the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much. Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered, he won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. Hmm. I'll get going. Good idea. Gotta hack some shit. Honestly, the silence is kind of awkward. Well, I'm about to get off, so it's gonna get more awkward for you to be fair. All right. <laughs> I'm just getting the advanced. The advanced training first, and then I'm gonna. Oh, you can get your bonus power, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do um. That should slow him down. The retraining right. of my points, so I can Anyone do whatever I want. Thing will get blown the hell up, friend or foe. I'll find this in time. Oh, shut You're your mouth. Wrong place, freelancer. You the blood pack leader. Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When did the Blood Pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse and their mechs. We'll see. Why are the Blood Pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection. Alright, have a good one, Blue. Someone removed. Talk yep, to you us. too. The Blood Pack are everywhere <sighs> on Omega. Everybody loves us, and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men, and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. 
What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, until he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. Mm hmm. Really anything in this room? Oh, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Where's he at? Not poking your head out, eh? There we go. that meta gel. Now what's this? Get a submachine gun damage from a predator and a carnifax. How does that make any fucking sense? Seed in your ass. Zaid. You know this asshole, Zaid? We worked together once. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? You're talking to him. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Jint, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you solved my problem for me. Anything's possible. <laughs> Good thing you know him. Derek Fix that hates up. having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? What's Derek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Yep. Damn it. 
looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, pal. He's over there, working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll be right back. Good luck. Watch out! There he is. Is he firing off a of Viper? That doesn't bother to shoot me yet. I'm literally just going to stand here until he gets me. We have to keep moving. There he goes. <laughs> it took him a while. Kafka? You must be the group Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Salky? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. Fortunately, my friends aren't here, so something I was going to say won't work out. You've got two options. They trap him in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blaster's finished with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of Target is in sight, where a go. Check. Bravo team. Yeah, that go, line go, was go. missing last time in the original game. For whatever fucking reason that's missing. So I ended up throwing in a Archangel's line of my own in the Mass Effect movie him. I did. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to a hundred percent before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. <laughs> Archangel is in trouble. Not much time. What the hell are we waiting for? Yeah, what the hell are we waiting for? Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. We got company. These guys have shields too. Oh my crazy blood! That all you I'm gonna have to find another time to say that, like when I'm around. I didn't mean to grab uh, credits, so I guess I scanned a uh, meta gel. This might be useful. Let's get that real quick. 
Because that is going to be useful. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, <laughs> we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But... It works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. Just waiting doesn't seem like a good option. Got any other suggestions? This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. I didn't like <laughs> sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little Merc blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give yeah. these bastards everything. Alright, it's probably best for me to get out of here. Oh, now Zayed's going to be using the Vindicator. Probably could have gone after that wall safe earlier. We've got light mats in the base. Yep. Ow. Achievement unlocked. Headhunter. Uh, 
see if you can take care of the light mechs on the rear stairs. Okay, where's the rear where the mechs get on the rear stairs? I don't know why I threw a fireball on Damn it, Morton. Oh wait, never mind. Morton's back up. What? This where you just, you know, fell over. Just burn through any Gosh, armor. I haven't died yet, so that's good. Why are All you right, holding your fucking you gun wrong? I'll just wait until the next head. Or the rest of the people are dead in the next start shooting at us. No, that's not what I meant to do. Wow, the mirror max almost dead. Get down now. I don't know why I said this in the first Okay, probably because I've been too used to fighting the blood pack. One back up. Kill them all. Ow! Fuck you! I was standing down with. Everyone? Looks like that's all. 
Okay. Come find me before they regroup. They're definitely gonna regroup, but we got rid of Jareth, so that's nice. real quick. Got a bunch of couches. We need to prepare. Come see me. I'm right next You're to you. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Sounds problematic. Damn it. <laughs> they breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Um, I forget if there's even a guy, I mean, if there's even people who have barriers. But I'm gonna bring along Zaid just because normally I keep more with me. Stay so. with Garrus. Keep him safe. We'll do what I can. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Yep. Zaid, let's go. Not too far. I didn't die during the first part, so that's great. The first part's normally easy, though. It's the second part that's a bitch, because you gotta go. I don't know why I bothered to do that. My shields weren't recharged.
think I scared away that Baron. Working on it. Shields recharge. Okay, good. Shutter sealed. Just one more shutter. Hurry. Let's go, Zaid. Right. This next part's gonna have a freaking pyro. Okay, good. It, it worked. Get back here, Shepard. We're coming in through the door. Ah, rip them to shreds! 
Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. What the fuck? Why does I eat a shotgun? Save there, right? I think we got him. They stopped. Come find me. Should have gotten the med kit in there. If I did already, I'm just making sure. Got everything else. took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. He still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortress showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Look out! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already! They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of it. How am I throwing out in scenario? Watch your back, Shepard. Lowering an impact shot! Jenta not lost her shit yet.
Alright, I am really risking it. About time the shields come back. Deploying incineration tech. Nice. Oh, come on. <clears throat> then again, no, I guess it makes sense. Why the fuck would couches be that defensible? She really did not give a fuck that she was on fire. All right, Zay, let's go. Got everyone, so now it's just Tarek. <laughs> There's as lucky as heavy armor protected him. Enemies in front. You're not looking so hot. <laughs> Garrus did not move his eyes. We're Where's getting Mandibles? you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Extracted Archangel from Mercenary Siege and recruited him for the team. Unclear whether injury to Archangel will impair his ability to assist in the mission. Regardless, revelation of identity is scarce for carrying useful and keeping Shepard comfortable. Got the Vindicator, got submachine gun damage, got tech damage, credits, and element zero. Q 
Pokemon unlock the Archangel. Successfully recruited Archangel. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. <laughs> Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Four Paragon points, got submachine gun damage, got tech damage. And advanced mineral scanner, yep. Already dealt with. I mean, we already know about the advanced mineral scanner. I don't actually think I'll have enough mint, you know, tech for that. Uh, resources. What am I talking about? I do have enough for the submachine gun damage, which is nice, because I need it. And tech damage would be useful, too. You've received a new message at your private terminal. Mm -hmm. Port still has you've been operating in the Omega Nebula. Would like you to look into a situation on Lorac, a nearby planet in the Father system. Scan the planet for a base of clips marks are holding on to one of our operatives. We should be able to detect the operator, extract the operatives. The operatives is beyond rescue. Recover any relevant intel that any eclipse might have collected. This is very delicate matter. That didn't sign up from John Whitson. Hey, Arya gave me this address. I think I met you at Afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs who were trying to take out Archangel. Man, I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night and it was a few days later before I got all together enough to check the news vids and saw that almost all those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are or if you got out of there alive yourself, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about the body count and how I could have been a part of it. I'll make the most of with what you did for me, John Whitson. <laughs> Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Soul's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check. How bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague, and I have been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> Right, I could change Garrus' costume from here. So why not? Trev was doing it. I mean, when I did the Zack Shepard movie, I didn't bother with changing Garrus' outfit until after his loyalty mission. But, you know, the outfits just are outfits in this game. Any news on your brother? It's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Wow, that's a random opportunity to talk about Ferris Fields there, dude. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's mm -hmm. it for now. See you, Commander. Gonna, like, uh, spread out the conversations about him and ED uh, across multiple conversations there, so. Good 
check in on Garrus. <sighs> Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. Mm-hmm. Why are you guys just sitting down all the time? I thought I'm gonna be able to instantly get the guns, but... Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Oh, holy crap, I can automatically get the Thanos cannon. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission, that's all. Relax, Shepard, just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. <laughs> and now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. The usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad, then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him, and because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedonis out first? No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except uh, for Sedonis. Trev's on One stream right now. He's saying hello. I'll correct that. That's funny. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. <sighs> Hmm. Kind of stopped nearby the end, though, Trev. Chase and Eric, uh, departed. I was just finishing up, uh, Garrus' recruitment mission. So I'm just 
taking care of tiny little details real quick, you know, like talking to him, and then I was going to stop streaming. Probably hop on to Overwatch for a bit. Because I've still got loot boxes so i got to unlock, and plus, I want to try and get that freaking black cat skin for Sombra. I don't exactly have no the you, moolah in the game for it just yet, so... Right. I got three points, uh... I've been dealing with a lot of armor, so... Again, I might also be dealing with a lot of shields in the next mission. Yeah, I figured you were on break. Trev, Jack's uh, recruitment mission. Do you see more shields or more armor? That's what I shall do then. Overload. Whoops. I accidentally pressed B. I'm gonna upgrade to overload first. I'll eventually finish upgrading combat drone and then focus all my points on the cryo blast. Whenever I get four points, I'm gonna first go to evolve to evolve tech mastery. But I felt like upgrading overload, because overload and incinerate I've been using a lot more fairly recently. So Took out like a big chunk out of my controller because for whatever reason it's still kind of peeling over here. There we go. All right, so next time, our Max and the Warden they have armor. Yeah, that's true. I went for overload first though because you mentioned that. Either way though, next time though we will. Ah. Uh, oh, it's like the paint is peeling off, Trev. That's all. Why in the world did you have to capitalize it? I don't know. Next time, hopefully, I'll have all my friends here. And, uh, we will continue with recruitment missions with Jack and Grunt. Might do that quick side mission that's still in the Omega, um, system and whatnot. <laughs> what is that? What, what is that? What, what emote did you share? Was that a knight? I can't tell. I think it's a knight. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a knight cowering in fear. Anyways, like I said, uh, that's end of stream. Hopefully next time we will be able to do a lot more. Anyway, uh, why do I keep saying anyways? Either way, though, for anyone who watches on YouTube, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to use like, 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 comment, share, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitch if you haven't already, and if you didn't like, dislike, it's not going to make that much of a difference to me. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out, Spartans.